All right. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is this thing on? Uh, it looks like this thing's on. Hey, everybody. Um, I want to play some Final Fantasy Tactics. I think it's probably perfect for stream. Uh, maybe not so much some of the grindy bits, but some of the non-grindy bits will definitely be good for streaming material. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, so this is the PSP version. It's got a much better translation <clears throat> than the original PlayStation version. Um, so hopefully you all enjoy it. This game has a ton of stuff to it. This game is impossibly deep. Um, yeah. This game is impossibly deep. This game is an absolute blast to play. And hopefully you guys will enjoy watching it as well. Um, oops, did I just skip everything? Shit, I skipped everything. Alright, what should I name this fucking save file? Hmm. Uh, what should I name our character? I could go with my name. I could go with Wu Tang. I could go with Trap Wendy. Uh. Uh. Fuck it. I like the smug Wendy idea. Should we do a, uh. <clears throat> Fast food themed friggin' doggone thing here. Alright. Should I use my actual birthday? Probably not. Let's see. Let's make it American. Yeah! All right, so the story I accidentally fucking skipped over is that basically we're using magic to look into the past to figure out what happened in the actual past. Um, so we're experiencing the story as these guys experience the story. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for this version, they also added in a bunch of new uh, CG cutscenes. Um, and they did those. They did those for some of the new things they added in because they added in new stuff for this version. Um, oh, me. Man, I had lunch in between streams and I'm all kinds of fucked up now. Ah. But they also replaced some of the more important in game uh, non CG cinematic things with. Um, actual cutscenes like this, which I think is really cool. Oh, I got a cough. <coughs> <coughs> Including this first one here. Uh -oh. My Twitter is blowing up. Hmm. Oh yeah, that fucking thing. Never mind. I'm not worried about it. So how's y'all's afternoon going? Hopefully it's going well. Uh, mine is going a little better now that I got away from that fucking mission in Armored Core 3. Ooh boy, that was, uh, that was a shit show at the end there. Ugh, I will be going back to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be going back to that basically as soon as I can, uh, figure out how to cheese that mission. So, after a bit of reading, we'll be going back to that. Ah! Fuck, I'm dying. <sighs> Hopefully I don't die live on stream. If I do, though, just, just let it happen. That's 
let's take a look at that. Let's see, does that change when I move it? No, it does not. Okay. Quite interesting. All right. Everything seems to be working just fine. Um, you guys in the chat, do you want me to read the text out loud, or do you just want me to paraphrase? It's time to go. I'm going to paraphrase unless you guys specifically want me to read it out. Shut up. <laughs> I like the idea of paraphrasing. Come on, bitch. God damn it, woman. Yo, what's taking this bitch so long? Shut your damn mouth! Okay, this might be funny if we continue this. Sorry and shit. Um, but we need to hurry up. You guys are assholes. <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, this is the, all of this. Uh, this uh, this flowery speech that's in this is uh, uh, completely new for this. They retranslated everything for this version. Um, it it sells the game a lot better. Enough. Let us be on our way. <clears throat> Excuse me. The father watch over you, child, and you, elder. Oh God, she's fucking dead. Not really. The enemy is upon us. Goltana's men. Aw, oh, shit. Time to fight. Time to earn our keep. <laughs> what is it, Smug Wendy? You above getting paid to do a job. I'm a knight no longer, just another sellsword. Right then, to battle! Yeah, I don't know if I want to read everything verbatim just because... Deliver us, O oh Lord. Um, I don't know if I want to read anything, everything verbatim because this game gets incredibly wordy later on. Uh, but we'll see. So, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, this is Final Fantasy Tactics. It was released in either 97 or 98, I believe 97. Um, after Final Fantasy 7 came out, um, it is a isometric uh, strategy game. And it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. You cannot hope to defeat us, wench. Surrender the princess, or we'll fuck up that face, girl. Fuck with me, bro. I head on assault. These swords of Goltana lack what's one and all. In that case, we should be able to handle this without you, Gafgaria. Mayhap you could, but there's no money to be made in that. I like that. Lad, smug Wendy with me. Lad's the other guy on our team. Alright, I'm going to have to remember some of the controls here. Um, the PlayStation controls are ingrained in, my, ingrained in my head, not so much the PSP ones. Gafgarian, kill them all. Keep, leave no man standing. You know, I've got to fix that. You would have us slaughter them? Are you mad? Kill them here and you played into Duke Coltana's hands. We need only put them to rout. I find dead men rout more easily. Yeah! Alright, so this is this is the basic uh, turn-based thing. There's a grid. Um, deal with the slowdown on that. The, the PSP version has some bad slowdown on particle effects. Um, but we won't be running into too many of those once we get into this, uh, so it won't be much of a problem. Uh, before I act here, give me about three seconds to fix something, if you don't mind. I'll still be here, I just need to... Just need to handle one thing. There we are. There we go. Had to pull the curtain back for a second. All right. So you've got a movement action per turn and an act action per turn. So in our case, we can kind of move a little bit. And then for act, we've got attack and metal. 
Uh, we can't really do anything right now, so we're going to increase our attack here and keep going on. Um, <clears throat> this game is difficult. There are a few walls in this game that you will hit that suck. That thing's dead. That person is a die. Uh, but they have a chemist, so it probably won't end up being that big of an issue for them. Um, this game has a job system that is more intricate than I think any other job system I've ever experienced in a video game. Ah! You didn't break my shit. You summon a bitch. That guy's charging up. Um, so each job has different abilities. Um, different uh, attack and defense powers. You've got magic abilities. You've got summoners. Um, there's more than 20 jobs in the game. And in this version, they put in extra jobs um, for completionists where... You get stuff at the end of the game. Um, that becomes really good. Right, where are you going? Are you taking out that... Uh... Oh, man, that slowdown is rough. Like I said, we won't have to deal with much of that. Um, so don't worry about it too much. Um, yeah. So this is how all of the battles go, and depending on how you uh, how you make up your uh, your uh, party, uh, battles can go very differently one way or another. Um, you gain um, experience points and job points separately. You you level up with your experience points, which leads to more hit points, etc. Um, your job points are used to purchase new skills for the job that you currently are using. Alright, I should be able to kill this one. Yeah, we killed a man! He's dead! Um, you get flanking and backstabbing bonuses, um, attacking certain people um, from certain directions. So at the end of your turn, you get to pick which way you're facing. Um, you can use that for defense and all sorts of different stuff like that. It's a really cool game. Um, and hopefully it'll lead to some more chill sc streams than me uh, screaming my eyeballs out of my head while dealing with... Uh-oh. Uh uh, screaming my eyeballs out at badly designed mechanics and whatnot in uh, Armored Core 3, because oh boy, that made me grumpy. Oh good, he's going to heal her. We will have uh, routed these men handily fairly quickly here. I think I'm one of the next ones to move here. She used a potion on herself. There are some incredibly broken abilities in this game, but what I like to do is I actually like to uh, spread out the abilities per the characters we have in our party. Uh, there are some people you get later on that are just straight up broken, which is awesome. Um, yeah! See, so I did a little extra damage because I stabbed him in the back. And now we have just that knight left there. And uh, he will be defeated handily, I believe. Um, so you obviously you can't customize the look of your characters, but you can equip items, different jobs, different abilities. Um, I'm sorry, I got a little bit of itch, an itch here. Um, you can equip different jobs, different abilities, different items, stuff like that. And you can actually hire new people uh, because this game has permadeath. Um, so if one of your characters dies, uh, you have three turns to revive that character or beat the level. Um, if you can't do that in three turns, they become permanently dead and you lose that character, which can be disastrous towards the end of the game. <clears throat> it also means that the amount of characters you want to have, the amount of time you have to put in to keep them all around the same level becomes exponential. Um, which can be kind of annoying. Oh no! The princess. Having her goodies touched. This is one of those new cutscenes I was way. talking about. Be quick. 
And try making a little less noise. I'll not take orders from you! Absolutely you love the, uh, the, the art design in, these, in this game. Um, I can't remember the name of the artist. Forgive me. Um, Tis your birth and faith that brung you, not I. But the character art in this game is a love of art. But mostly the character art and designs uh, are unbelievable. How dare! Look amazing. Who is that? Demafuan? Is it truly him? Yeah, probably. You guys ready for a 12 hour long flashback? Actually, it's interesting, the first chapter of the game is a flashback. Oh no. You Don't fucked up, Chica. Lives? But why does he fight under the banner of Duke Coltana? So now we get to, or now we go all the way to the beginning and we get the backstory of what's going on here in this world. Records of the hero Delita first appeared one year before the outbreak of the War of the Lions. The loss of the Fifty Years War saw knights returning home, returning from the front, stripped of livelihood. Their fealty to the crown and nobility abandoned. Many became rogues and traitors men donning the thief's cloak and plotting treason against the crown. Ah, oh, I'm dying there. It was a time of great unrest for Ivalis. Uh, murder and theft were commonplace. Many were the young adventurer and mage who stepped forward to counter this threat. Of such, the city of Garland too saw its share. Chapter 1, The Meager. God, this game is good. This game also had one of the one of my favorite uh, soundtracks of any game. Royal Military Academy at Garland. Another Wayne was struck last night on its way to Egros. The Corpse Brigade again. That's an awesome name. I wonder where all this leads. Delito, what do you make of all this? I'm not sure. I have my guesses, but I'm listening. I think Duke Larg is coming to Garland. Duke Larg? Why? Not just the Duke, the Marquis Elmdor de Limberi, too. That's the first I've heard of it. This is not the sound of a state visit. All of Ivalis is in turmoil. The Order's supposed to be keeping things under control, but the fact is they number too few. And they mean to bolster their numbers with us? All right, everybody, form up. Scritchy scratch. There we go. It's a knight. Oh, my God. Actually, kind of useless in the game. Actually, no, the knight's a pretty good class because they do good damage. The Order of the Northern Sky has an assignment for its has an assignment for its knight's apprentice. As I'm sure you're already aware, the number of brigands roaming Galleon is on the rise. Among them, the Corpse, Brig corpse Brigade a seditious lot with a grudge against the crown. Rogues such as they must be dealt with. The order has been commanded to undertake an operation to eliminate the brigade, brigade, an operation of a grand scale. We will not be acting alone. The order will be joined by, among others, His Excellency Duke Larg's Royal Guard, stationed at Egros. This will leave Egros Castle undermanned. Your task will be to proceed there and support us from the rear by bolstering its defenses. Words! Oh. The time to take up arms is upon you, young apprentices. I've just received word that a band of thieves routed by our knights flees here to Garland, seeking refuge. We must move to stop them and finish the task of our brothers. You, young apprentices, will accompany us. This is but a small, a squall before the storm of battle. Prepare yourselves at once, dismissed. Yay, and right into another fight. I guess I would like to save. So I have my own save up here. Uh, we're gonna separate that by a few, or one slot here, and we'll have a few different save slots we'll rotate through. 
Alright. I'm gonna look for the guys with high bravery and faith numbers. Gilbart is a good one. Vililmus. Sestelilbi. Dianista. Editha. She's good. Where is 54 versus 47? She's good too. And she's got okay bravery. I should probably be going with more than one chemist, but I have a feeling one of those other characters will be coming will be becoming a chemist soon. Garland. What have we here? We Moppets, is it? Our lucks went and turned for the better. Alright lads, cut through these ones and we're as good as fled. We'll make quick work of them and don't be leaving no squealers behind neither. It sounds... I think he's supposed to be read with a cockney accent, to be honest. Alright, so this game has some interesting quirks about combat. Um... Uh, one of which is your characters don't gain any experience unless they do something. Um, which can lead to problems for sure. Um, uh, one of the other ones is that item use, which you, you know, is like the basis of any Final Fantasy game, uh, for the most part can only be used effectively by chemists. Everybody can equip an item skill, but you have to use job points to learn how to use specific items, and you have to use um, um, the you have to use uh, the chemist class in order to use the items on other people from a distance. All right, careful, Smug Wendy. Remember these well-aimed thrust. Remember the well-aimed thrust pierces the mail. Don't patronize me, Delita. We Beowul Beowulves know our way around the battlefield. Beowulf, visit. Heir to the noble house Beowulf, I'd wager. Looks like we have ourselves some apprentices from the academy. Well, highborn Moppets is still Moppets. Muppets. Lay down your arms or die clutching them. None will mourn your passing. And you mean to t make us do that, then? You're in far over your little heads. We are kids. Our character is 16 in this game. Alright, so we could go for that guy, or we could come up here and deal with this one. So I am going to come up here and deal with this one. She's a two-hitter. Hopefully the chemist wastes a turn attempting to save her. Alright, fundamentals. We've got Rush. We can change equipment, or we can wait. So we're going to wait here. Um, it's important, especially in the beginning, to let your units stick together. Use a potion here. I probably shouldn't do that. I probably shouldn't wait until the need is dire. But what are you going to do? So as you can see, she gained a job level as well. Um, you can you can do different things at different job levels in this game. Fundaments. None of these characters I have so far can throw stones, which is your basic ranged attack. Uh, let's take a look. Can you throw a stone? No, you cannot. Two, three. All right, so we're going to be doing a lot of waiting here in the beginning. Hopefully, Delita will take. Yep. So he's going to kill her with the stone. Hit. Nice. Uh, there's percentages of hit. Sometimes it becomes rather annoyingly unfair. Luckily here we don't seem to be having that issue. Alright. Move you up there. Because... Let's see, our other squire right there will be able to come right up in front of him and hit him in the front. It won't be ideal, but it'll still... Still work. You getting beat up by women, yo. Not that that's a unusual, but you know. Okay, here, so I, I had meant to move him up there, but that did not happen this time. Alright, yeah, you, none of the characters have stone throw, not even... Actually, our main character might have stone. Which would be good. 
Um, so the, the AI in this game is unfortunately kind of... Oh, I don't even have stone. The AI in this game is unfortunately kind of basic, um, which leads them to be exploitable. Um, basically, they will attack the unit, the weakest unit within their range if they have the ability. So you can kind of spam... Not spam, I guess spam's a bad word, but you can kind of... Uh, have like a weaker unit, you know, like a mage or something, um, and use them to bait out attacks from uh, from other enemies. Let's see, looks like you're gonna come in and try and take it in here. One, two, three. Okay. So he'll go down from those two this next attack here, and these guys keep attacking Delita. We shouldn't have any issues here. This is such a... This game has so, such an alarming amount of depth. There we go. Hitting the chemist is going to pay off soon here. Alright, Smug Wendy's going to be hitting him next. Like he got... Uh, All right, one more hit from her, and he'll be dead. All right, 95% hit, and we've got another kill. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, he's going to make it out with his life after getting a hit on Smug Wendy. But Smug Wendy's next, and Smug Wendy happens to be able to get to the side of him. Um... 100% chance. Okay, there's another one down. He's going swimmingly. Act items. Let's use one more potion on Delita, and then from there we're going to leave it. Uh, the next thing that's probably going to happen is that squire in front of the chemist is going to uh, make an attempt on my chemist here, so I'm going to move her back here. And let these ones go for it. Hopefully, I moved her out of range. It doesn't nest. It doesn't really matter if we didn't. Um, I set her up there so that uh, Smug Wendy can get to the side of that guy. Let's bring you here. Delita will probably get the kill on you, but that's okay. I don't think you necessarily get more points for getting a kill. Um, it's all about number of actions performed. And he got killed with a rock. He beamed him right in the temple. Alright, so we've got one left, so at this point it's just a matter of moving these characters out. Alright, they won't, they won't be needed or used. Um... One of the interesting strategies here is you only get, you only get experience if you move, right? Or if you do some sort of successful action. So one of the strategies when you're grinding levels later on, which fortunately you have to grind levels later on, um, uh, one of the strategies is to... Ooh, she's gonna get him. Very nice. Um, always have your characters equipped with some sort of skill that you can use whether or not there are enemies around. Um, so with the basic Squire moveset, uh, there's a move called Accumulate, which will allow you to uh, increase your attack power. And it does nothing but increase your attack power, but you get job points and experience points for using it. Okay. Honest work would see them die old in bed, yet they choose instead this early grave. Why persist in such folly? That runs. I'm going to do something. Alright, we got a mithril down, or a mithril knife, some phoenix down, and a potion. Gimme. 
15 seconds here. Here we go. So this is our world map. There we go. I took care of the thing I was trying to take care of. I'm also talking with you guys. This is our world map. This is how we get around. Um, the big, the big uh, pins on the map are towns. The little pins on the map are, um, excuse me, they are uh, world locations where things where uh, you can get into random battles, basically. This is our party roster. You'll see this uh, this screen a lot. All right, and Squire, I have enough to do Tailwind. Okay. Um, our main character here, Smug Wendy, um, uh, gets special abilities in the the main class, including that one, which increases um, words I can't think of. There we go. Including that one, which increases the um, the speed of, of a character. Uh, I think you usually use it on yourself, but you can use it elsewhere. All right, we need to assign some stuff here. We're going to assign aim. Uh, let's see, I don't have any other special abilities here. All right, I don't think I used Bayard here. I think I used Gilbart. Yeah, I used Gilbart. And I can equip Stone with him. So now he has a ranged attack, which is good. Um, it, will help, it will help us out later. Uh, we've already got some chemist stuff equipped. Uh, we are going to equip aim on him. Alright. We didn't use Wilhelmus. 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 There we go. Um... We use system. We have to change these names. These names are rough. All right, she can't learn anything. She can't learn anything. She can not learn anything either. Okay. Knight Archer. Uh, these are our basic, just the basics that we can equip right now. Um, Defend. We'll equip you with defend. And you have to equip the skills as well. You don't just um, you don't just have access to them unless that's part of the job. Um, so you can equip two job abilities at once. So in this case, the basic one and oh, screw it. Let's do aim for him instead of re-equip. You can defend. All right. reason to use that on him. However, Adita can use that Mithril Knife uh, to good effect. Uh, let's see. I can go to an Outfitter here right away. I can buy a few more things. Actually, I can't. Warriors Guild. Okay, here's where we can change the names of some of our characters. Oh, you can only change the names of monsters? Damn it. Well, I guess we're stuck with those characters with bad names until we decide to actually buy soldiers. Uh, why not? Why not buy one now? Uh, nope. Let's take a look. I want one with high bravery. Something above 65. Nope. They just keep randomizing it forever. It's all good, Thunder. No problem. Um, we hit a wall in uh, in Armored Core 3, so we're changing gears. We literally hit a wall. Uh, I got the Karasawa. I got to the mission where you have to go down that hallway while the hallway is fucking shooting at you. Oh shit, 7070, this is a guy. We are hiring the shit out of this guy. Um, I died in that mission like 50 times and then I 
uh, decided three hours of streaming that shit was enough. <laughs> All right, so we're going we're going with the shitty fast food team here. So this character is Arby's. Um, Arby's is worth 1500 Arby's, Arby's can go back and forth. Yeah, that mission is a pain in the ass. I will return to Armored Core 3 at some point in the near future. Um, odds are it'll be... God damn. Whew. Odds are it will be at some point when I've read up enough on that mission to figure out how to skis it. Yeah, the AC... I got to the AC in one of my runs, and I ended up blowing up the generator that I had to stop myself. Um... And I got pissed off and quit. <laughs> Alright, so party roster. Let's get let's just straight up get rid of Baylard here. Alright. Alright, there's Gilbart. Gilbart is no good. Here's our guy, Arby's. 70 and 70. Alright, let's go. Let's do a quick save here. I will save all the time because we have a, um, this game, it isn't prone to crashing, but I've had issues with the games crashing in the past, so I don't want to deal with that. Yes, I used the Karasawa in a mission or two. It was pretty good. Barbanith Beowulf, a great hero in his own right who had attained the distinguished title of Knight Galant approaches the hour of his death. The waning days of the 50 years war. So basically before the time now there was a there was a, a war that lasted for 50 fucking years and this collection of nations has run through all their resources and everybody's pissed off. What news of the war? The order has struck a great blow. Limbury is ours once more. We will be able to recall our forces to Z Zeltenia Anan. All goes as plans, Lord Father. As planned, Lord Father, be not troubled. The enemy dispatched to Advocate Lenario has returned. He has agreed to your proposal, Lord Father. Good, very good. Then the war will die with me. Yeah! Fata! There now, Alma. Do you want my last memory of you... Uh, my last memory to be of your tears? Where is Smug Wendy? He should be here at your side. Dice of Dargs, all bag. Terrible names. You are dear to me, but Smug Wendy is no less so. Though he be not the issue of the womb that bore you, my sons, still my blood courses his veins. Watch after him. I love the, the, the retranslation in this one. Lord Father. You forget yourself, Smug Wendy. I can't believe that Smug Wendy is the hero of this tale again. It's funny to me. You have come. Good. Let me look once more on your face. Apparently we look exactly like this guy as a kid. Lord Father, how long has it been? You've grown into a fine young man. I would hear of your studies. You've been at the Academy since spring, is it? Touch. Hear me, Smug Wendy. For generations, we Beowulfs have stood foremost of those who serve the crown. Ours is the soul of the knight. Become a knight worthy of your name. Tolerate no injustice. Stray not from the true path. You will know the path you must walk. A Beowulf can walk no other. I will not fail you, father. Your friend Delita, he is a good boy. He is lowborn, but he can serve you well. I've made arrangements for him to enter the academy. <laughs> you should have seen the look on the headmaster's face. In the years ahead of you, you will need someone whom you can trust. You could do far worse than Delita, as you saved, father. Kiss. Take care of your sister. Make out. I don't know. And show these brothers of yours what it is to be a knight. And he's dead. He's super dead. Thunder, have you seen this game before? I'm going to save one more time so I don't have to watch that again. Fuck it. <sighs> Wait, did I save? I think I did. It goes so fast. On to another battle! Alright, we are making sure we're bringing Arby's, Edita, Demonisha. Who 
who else was it? Sistelby? Sistella Lee. These names are bad. Oh, I can only assign four people, damn it. Um, in missions where you don't have special... Oh shit, my cat's right there. Hi, cat. You little son of a bitch. You look so pissed off to be getting attention. This asshole cat. Y'all see the cat on the screen? Over here, getting petted. Little asshole. Fuck you. You're awesome. The most worthless thing I've ever purchased. Looks like this one's still alive. What do we do with him? What do you think we do with him? Right then. Your luck's run out, Nave, if you ever had any. Ah! One of the Order's patrols. Corpse Brigade, and they have a hostage in their midst. Alright. So we've got two things here. It changes what our mission objective is. If we pick Rescue the Captive, everybody thinks we're cool. But if that guy dies, we fail. If we pick this one, we sound like a dick. But we don't fail if he gets down. So we're going to pick that one. The enemy stands before us. Attack! And our friend does. Our friend has a problem with it. Stand by his wa and watch as they kill an innocent. It's probably not innocent. I hadn't planned on giving them a chance, had you. I would save him myself if it came to that. All right. Time for a fight. Fight, 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 fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I don't know. All right. So he's gonna rush in. Like I said, the AI in this game is very basic. But it's okay. Reinforcements, and none too soon. This poor guy is stuck in a corner. I think he can kind of back himself up and around, but not right now. So he's going to sit there and take some hits. Uh, this one's tough if you choose to save him. Uh, but it has no effect on the story or anything other than your mission objectives. Uh, the story is linear in this, which is, it's not bad. We've got two, four, six people to fight, and one of them is a beast. Shit, he's already getting his poo pushed in. Look at this. Two, four, six, yeah, six people. Okay. So we're going to move up as close as possible. And I'm going to use Tailwind on myself. The faster I go, the better. You want to use that spell a lot in the beginning, because when you go faster, you get more turns, and when you get more turns, you can gain more job points and experience points, uh, which becomes incredibly important later on. Wow, I don't even have any fundaments on this guy. Let's see. What about this squire? Uh, she's not the one who learns stone. Damn it. Alright. Attack, items re equip, and we're gonna wait. Okay. Uh, those, uh, mountain lions, I don't know what the fuck you want to call them. They are, uh, they're kind of like your basic, like, enemy. They're kind of your wolves of this game. Um, but. Uh, they have a they have a poison attack they get later. So see, this is why this guy's a problem because immediately down, um, we would have lost there if we picked the second option. I must help the marquee. Oop. Anyways, so that would have been what half on if, yeah. But here, we don't have that issue. We're going to take a lot of hits here taking out these guys. Um, if you don't focus on one person, um, you can run into the very serious issue of being overwhelmed in a single turn, where they take out one or two of your guys and it's enough to um, throw the stone at the guy and it kills him. Yep, okay, cool. Um, where they can take out, like, one of your characters in one turn. So you want to try to do that to them. So he's going to run right up because she was within distance and hit her. So 
see, so now the guy right behind her is probably going to hit her and actually take her out. Um, so our next step would be to kill these guys within three turns because I don't have access to Phoenix down yet. See, I can only use potions and antidotes at this point. But I can come around here since my chemist luckily came first and use a potion on her. So she's about at full health now. Hooray! There we go. All right. Who's probably going to be a better bet to take out? Probably this guy right here. They don't have any healers with them as far as I can see. So he's going to take a swing at her and probably run, run, run away. There we go. Yep, there he goes. But the good news is, I have a guy in waiting in the wings over here to kill him. Good job, Arby's. Arby's needs to get his level up. All right. So I'm gonna actually leave her ass right there and see if I can't take out this thief while I'm here. The thieves don't do much damage, but they can they can actually steal items later on. So um, it becomes very useful to have a thief or someone with a thieving with the thief skill in your party at all times um, there's certain items in this game certain very very good items in this game that you can only get by stealing it from other people so that guy's gonna be our next uh, our next mark there we've got three people up there oh she's gonna go down damn it Alright, hopefully I can get hopefully I can get Arby's over there to kill that guy, actually. I'll send him. Why not? There we go. Uh, that noise you heard, that special noise, that means I got a critical hit on the character. Uh, critical hits are good. I mean, nothing else I need to say about that. So even though my character is dead there, uh, the fact that I'm going to beat this before... Um, before her timer runs out, basically, um, is gonna... Uh-oh. The fact that he's back there is gonna cause problems. Alright, we need to get Tailwind on a few other characters. Actually, I should just use it on him again. Hopefully he can get an extra turn in uh, to hit this guy. Because uh, we're going to want to run around to the back there to make sure he can't get further away from our guys. We need to wait here. See, you can't hit him there. Alright, I can use that. Or I can try to knock him down with Rush, which actually can't even hit him, so I'm stuck just hitting him once. So he's going to be able to hit her and run off. Uh, Delita might be able to hit him with a stone and move him. Certain attacks can actually move characters off of their block, so you can actually knock characters off of cliffs and stuff. Um, it's a legitimate strategy. Oh, perfect! Due to his shitty AI, he ran out to attack me right away. Instead of running away, which I would have done. I ever dropped a chest? Treasure chest. Okay. So we're gonna... Oh, we're just gonna straight up kill... Oh, well, that's really bad. We're gonna come over here. Um, when a character's item thing drops out, or when a character's timer runs out, they'll either turn into a crystal from which you can get abilities. Uh, shit! I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy. Uh, they either become crystals or the other thing. Shit. So I'm going to lose a chemist here, unless I can manage to land this hit right here. It all comes down to this. Okay. I didn't lose my chemist. Granted, I can just change uh, one of my other characters into a chemist right away, but it's still kind of a big deal to lose out on an early game chemist. Um, obviously, I can grind it out, but it's it's still trouble. 
Ah, the battle is won. So whenever you finish your random battle, it's the same as any other Final Fantasy game. You get some items, you get some, um, some gill. The only thing that's really different is the fact that you get, uh, your, your experience in the battle. My name is Argeth, a knight in His Excellency, the Marquis Elmdor de Limbury's household. A knight, you say? Well, truth be told, I am a knight apprentice, as are you, if I'm not far mistaken. A fellow knight in training, then. I am Smug Wendy Beulf, and this is Delita Hyral, my trusted friend. Beulf, you're not of the Beulfs of the Order of the Northern Sky, are you? What fantastic luck, a blessing in the midst of disaster. What? The Order can help me rescue the Marquis. It must. The Marquis is held captive? They took him hostage, yes, but he still lives. We must ask, qu act quickly if he is to remain so. Should he be killed, I will lose everything. You specifically? You simply must help me, please, I beg you. Calm yourself. Who's to say your Marquis is to be killed anyways? The Corpse Brigade would not take a man alive, save there would be value in keeping him so. Of that you can be sure. There's little the three of us can do to help in any case. If the Marquis was taken hostage, Egros will be in an uproar. You can be sure of that too. And before all else, we will report into Egros. Are we agreed? We're not doing that. Agreed, we'll start there. But we're not going to, because we're going to grind out a couple uh, fights here. The fights in the early game can be disastrous, because your party sucks, and it's in entirely possible that you're going to super die. Alright, first things first, you are becoming a chemist. Alright, there we go. Alright, abilities. Should have worked on some fundaments before doing that, but... Here we are. I need chemists. Alright. Him. We've got Arby's. Gilbert will be end up being a mage. And then we've got Dionysia and Edita. Actually, Sistella Lee. And hmm. Dionysia. Those are probably going to be the characters we're going to run with. These two, those two, and Smug Wendy. Because you, I don't think you can go into random battles without your main character. Which makes sense because you can pretty much break your main character right away. Alright, so we're going to go here first. Uh, we're going to get a, a special cutscene for the, the multiplayer mode that's in this. And then we're going to buy some stuff. Did you notice? Notice what? How am I supposed to notice if you don't tell me what it is I'm supposed to look at? The menu, Claude. Take a glimpse. The menu? Alright, there's some new words on it. Melee and rendezvous. What do you suppose those are? Some new manner of challenges as I hear it. Melee battles are for sparring. Sounds like a rum way to test your sword arm. Friendly challenges too. No worries of getting left to feed the worms. What about the other one? Rendezvous? Well, some people look to hire two groups of adventurers for a job. That's how you meet up with the other one. Ah, so you've got to work together with another cull, eh? Not so sure as I could do that. Well, there aren't a lot of offers up yet either way. Sure there will be someday, though. Once more people catch wind of the idea, there will probably be some right interesting jobs. Suppose I could try it sometime. There's more still. This is the good part. As I'm told, both participants get rewarded with treasure. Why didn't you say from the start? Let's get going. Well, first we need to find another group. So this is introducing the PSP-only multiplayer mechanic in this game. You might give it a try too, my lord. If you ever have an interest, just say the word. So if you go to taverns, you can either pick to fight against other people via the, the network connection, or you can do special missions that involve two teams. Uh, those things are tough. We're not going to be able to do any of those, unfortunately. So we want to go to the outfitter. And we want to go to fitting here. Right. I don't think we'll have anything to buy at this point. Is it Sistella Lee? No. 
bring Dionysia. She needs a broadsword. Ada to and Arby's. Okay. And let's see. Do we have special boots yet? No, we do not. Okay. Oh! I'm a fucking idiot. I want to buy some items here. Let's buy 20 potions to start with. Uh, those will be important. And let's buy three Phoenix Downs, just in case. I don't even have the ability to use them yet, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to soon. Alright, we gain some... Wow, I ain't got nothing. Um, you get some very useful basic abilities um, from the, the Squire uh, tree, the very first job. So it's actually... Um, highly useful to park your characters there until they have uh, mastered uh, that tree. Um, in some cases we won't be doing that, like the characters that I have, um, uh, the characters that I've already moved over to, like Chemist. Stone here. Like so some characters you want to leave there. Eye drops. You cannot learn Phoenix down. You're too away from Phoenix down. Okay. Um, I won't be doing this in between every single thing, so don't worry. I'm not going to be boring you guys to death with that. Hopefully. Um, oh, he can equip Phoenix down. Okay, this guy has officially become our most useful um, character right now. Um, he can use... He can use Phoenix Downs on people. That's incredibly important, right here in the beginning. Let's see, can you learn anything else? No, you cannot. Although teaching you stone was a very good way to start. All right, we're gonna save really quick. Really quickly, it's nice how quickly the saves go here. And we're gonna keep going back and forth here. Um, until we get a random battle like we did just there. Perfect. Um, the game has a calendar. Every character has a birthday. Um, Sistelli. Gilbart, that's right. Okay. Because Gilbart's going to be our mage, probably. Yeah. Um, uh, the game has a very deep zodiac um, system where certain characters, um, uh, their astrological signs do more damage against characters with opposing astrological signs and stuff like that. It's incredibly complex and detailed. I've never fully grasped exactly what's going on there because there's just so much to learn. Um, and I've been playing this game since it came out. Um, uh, you can, you can, you can do a lot of cool stuff in this game. Why am I getting blown up by all this shit? God damn it. Okay, uh, chocobos are bad early on because they can heal themselves. Uh, so what you actually end up wanting to do is you want to bait a chocobo into a trap and then surround it so it can't move. Uh, once you do that, you just basically beat it to death while it uh, heals itself, trying to save itself. Um, if it heals itself um, and it's surrounded by your guys, it actually ends up being. No, I'm not here. It actually ends up being beneficial because they heal an area, and so they'll heal the guys you have around. Damn it. Fuck it. I want some points. We can deal with four damage. Rush and stone. The aim there. Aim increases power on an attack in order to. Um, aim increases power on an attack, uh, but it takes longer to do the actual attack. Let's see. I'm gonna 
try and bait the characters into one of those little traps. Specifically that chocobo that's closest to us. If I can take him out before the other characters get close to us, uh, it will end up being very uh, beneficial for us because those things can heal themselves and others. Alright, here's, here's where it'll work. Okay. So now that chocobo's gonna, we're gonna get that chocobo caught up in here. Stone from here at that chocobo. No, you don't have to move. Right there. There we go. And we moved him back one. Perfect. That'll make things more difficult on them here in the future. Alright, we're gonna move our chemist right here so she can keep dropping potions on the characters that get hurt. Because uh, one or two swings from a chocobo right in the beginning can cause the characters to die. Alright. They also counter-attack, so they're doing double damage, um, basically, which is very poor this early on. But the good news is, one more swing, and as long as What's-Her-Face doesn't miss, as long as Dionysia doesn't miss, uh, we've got a Chocobo down. Sweet, we did it! Out a little bit. You're gonna be moving up, and then uh, Gilbart is gonna get hit by that chocobo over there, don't you know? Uh, right to the side, okay. And only 12, that's not too bad. Alright, so all our characters have stone thrown now. I would hit him for 85, but instead what I will do is I will use Tailwind on myself. Um, getting, getting your main character... Uh, words I can't think of right now. Getting your main character... Um, up to speed on the, on the beginning class is imperative right in the beginning. Because he has skills that are beneficial to the entire party, and equipping it as a second ability will allow him to basically always be doing something useful. Right, you're gonna take some hits here. But we're gonna nickel and dime this guy with rocks. He's gonna come in. No, we're not gonna. Right there. Right. Throw a stone up there. See, even if I'm attacking myself, which is probably stupid very early on here, it's still important um, because you still want to get everybody getting as many points up as possible, basically. you're a little faster than those goblins over there, I'll be able to get him around the goblins and over into the corner. Um, we're basically waiting for that son of a bitch to attack, but instead he ran away, okay, and cured himself. Um, he won't be able to cure himself all the way, so we should be alright. Uh, but that still kind of sets our plans back a little bit. No, 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 wait stones at each other. Keep throwing stones at him. Because she's just, or we're just gonna heal him with our, our uh, chemist as soon as we have a chance here. Alright, it looks like we're gonna end up having to hit all of these guys at once, but the way we've set up... The way we've set up, we might be able to take one of them out before everybody starts attacking at once. So we're just gonna kinda hang out here. Just throw fucking stones at each other. That's how the kids learn to fight. Just throw stones at each other. Tackle each other and shit. Tailwind yourself again. 
Damn. Smug Wendy's speed increased. Alright, we're just hanging out here waiting for these guys. Okay. So you're you're the one that's gonna get fucked up now, bro. Because you decided to come in here and start fucking with us. Alright, he'll be able to he's not gonna move up because he can't get to somebody right away. And then we've got the chocobo to deal with as well. He's gonna come in and hit. Got this some bitch trapped. And somebody will get that last hit on him. Bam, there we go. Alright. For this guy here, we can just keep throwing stones at these motherfuckers. He's gonna get in and hit somebody his next turn. And his buddy behind him isn't going to be able to do anything. Alright, let's use a potion here. Alright. She's down 15. He's down 18. He'll get it. Plus, they're not going to be able to attack her, so there's no point in healing her. There's probably no point in healing him either at this point. But that's the only way she has of getting job points at this point. So we're going to have to just deal with it. right there. Because he's going to come in and hit one of those characters to my left or right here. Hopefully I didn't fuck up the range. No, I did not. And like, using Tailwind and, ha and having more characters now means that, that it's easier for us to win. So he's thinking him and his buddy are going to be able to get up on him. Us, we'll be able to move him out of harm's way, which is good since he's almost been there. And I'll have three left. Okay. So this is about how you want to go through every battle here. Eventually you learn different abilities um, that kind of trivially, trivialize the whole... Um, surround somebody and fuck them up to death strat um this fucking cat you little son of a bitch but that's the basic strategy to begin with um in this game i think i dropped a treasure chest all right we got eye drops that's nice uh eye drops uh heal blind uh which we'll have to deal with at some point Smug Wendy's speed increased. Alright, you come on and move up. Right, you're gonna be able to run up and just fucking hit him. Sit down. You gotta hit back. You got a level and a other thing level. Alright. Alright, so she has 44 health. He has less, so he's going to get attacked next. He's got enough health to survive a hit, but I'm going to heal him again anyways. Hi, kitty. Oh, bye, kitty. Little some bitch. Fuck you, cat. Little asshole doesn't want to hang out. Alright, let's see. I am going to use Tailwind on you here, buddy. You'll be able to get around him a little faster. I'm pretty sure you're next anyways. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that movement. Alright, this guy's going to hit me and run away now. Oh! He's going to flank me. Even though he can't do anything. He's at a point where he can't win. But because of the AI, he's still going to fight us. Let's see if I can't kill him with a stone throw. Oh. Might do it. 
Yep, there we go. We win the day. My back hurts. I'm sitting over a computer streaming all day. We did it. We are the best. Alright, we should have gotten a fair amount of job points here. No, I want... Abilities, learn. God, it's been a while. Uh, we're going to equip Counter Tackle, which allows us to counter attack against physical hits. Or we're going to learn it. Um, and then we will assign it here. Alright. You need some more. That move plus one is the final, like, you need this before you leave this... Uh, uh, job uh, skill that we will learn. Yeah, you got 200. You can equip move plus one. And then you still have to assign it to the uh, movement slot here. Alright, who do we got next? Adita. Adita got some some side points. Uh, your characters will get a couple, like, a very small amount of points in jobs that uh, other people are using around them. So uh, this character, Adita, is getting squire points despite not being a squire because she's around people who are using squire abilities or who are squires using squire abilities. Um, she's already also unlocked the white and black mage um, skill trees here. Uh, so we can actually give her uh, an offensive ability here. Uh, Luckily, uh, using items doesn't use MP, um, so she can now use the magic points she has to do actual magical attacks. Our characters are learning a lot here. Okay. It's important that Arby's has 300 now because he can learn focus, which increases his attack, which means he can just sit there and focus and focus and focus and focus the entire fight and then start one-shotting people. Uh, it'll be important for us. Um, I'm not going to learn anything. Yeah, actually, no, I've learned Phoenix down, so I don't need to worry about anything else. Um, a lot of characters will end up learning Squire and Chemist. If you keep the Squires and Chemists together, um, they'll end up kind of learning all their skills uh, just through, um, through proximity. Uh, Messy Nessie. Hey, yeah, this is the PSP version. This is War of the Lions uh, that we are playing here. Nice to have you at the stream, by the way. Thanks for coming and hanging out. We're right in the beginning. You haven't missed anything. Alright, so let's head up to the castle. See what's going on here. Don't you know? Alright. I hear you were decorated for your first victory, smug Wendy. They sing your praise from on high. You do the honor to you do honor to our name, my brother, and to me. I am glad. Oh, you would not seem it. I am, forgive me. Your words do me far more honor than I have done you. No doubt word has already reached you, but the Marquis de Limbery's carriage was waylaid and the Marquis taken. What have you a mind to do? I have already asked Zalbag to dispatch a squad in pursuit. These brigands must eventually come forth to demand ransom. That is, assuming the Marquis yet lives. I beg of you, Lord Beulf, lend me a hundred men that I might hunt these whore sons down. Yeah, whore sons. To get the fell swords for the Dark Knights aside from the rendezvous, rendezvous mode. Um, no, Nessie, I do not uh, know of any other ways to get the fell swords for Dark Knights. Um, I, there has to be a way. Um, uh, when I get to that point in the stream, obviously not today, because Dark Knights are always away, I will look it up and I will try to figure it out. Uh, please, my lord, grant me the means to avenge my fallen friends. Mayhap your ears fail you. I said that a squad is to be dispatched. You are not of man of Galleon. Leave her affairs to those of us who are. But my lord! Do not assume to beg favors of me. Let me remind you, Argeth, lest you forget your place. You are but another sword, not yet even knighted. Shit. 
He looks so sad! The two of you will remain here at Egros and serve among the castle guard. You needn't worry, danger is not like to visit these walls. Because it's a giant fucking castle. Oh, straighten out my back. My own house was once respected as highly as House Buell, you know. At least until my grandfather was captured during the war. He turned traitor, thinking to buy his freedom with the lives of his friends. But his freedom scarce outlived his honor. He was not a dozen paces out their gate when a dagger found his back. Killed by some common squire, no more a knight than I. One of the men he betrayed later escaped and spread word of his misdeeds. My lord father would have none of it, of course, but he was the only one. Our bannermen deserted us, our reputation ruined. Damn. Sucks to be you, brah. I suppose I had best remember my place. No reason to lend ear to please from the likes of me. Delita. Android and iPad, you can get those fell swords when you finish the regular game. No kidding, I did not know that. Titra. Alma, Zalbag. Hey look, people. More people. The color tone on the characters is kind of nice. Smug Wendy, you've come home. It's been some time, hasn't it, Zalbag? I heard about Garolin. They say you made short work of those brigands. Now you've truly the right to call yourself a Beowulf. Father would be proud. Thank you, Lord Brother. Yeah, this would be a perfect... This would be like some Game of Thrones shit. Seriously. I, I, I would watch... I would watch that. Ha! You certainly haven't changed. Gods forbid you show a bit of cheer on being praised. And you, Delita, don't think word of your deeds escapes our ears. Your sister's been so full of pride, I quite feared she might burst. This is a nice little exchange. Worry not, my seams have held. I love this translation. Glad to see you looking so well, Delita. And you, have you settled in at school? Yes, the others have all been quite kind to me. Would that we could speak at greater leisure, but there are duties that require my attendance. Rogues do not catch themselves. I like that. I understand, good luck. <laughs> he just kind of waves it off like, eh, it's fucking fine. We received a note of ransom from the Corpse Brigade. What? Something about it sits unwell with me. They are anarchists to be sure, bent on bringing down the aristocracy, but they fancy themselves righteous and prey only on the nobility and those in our employ. Would such as they truly kidnap the Marquis for want of coin? Why wouldn't they? They're not but common footpads. It's not quite true. One of the men I planted among them has not returned. I worry he may be caught up in something serious, but there are those who do not think some mere spy worth a search party's efforts. Where was he last known to be? He's just kind of leading us on like, go do it. A merchant city named Dorder, east of Galeon. Uh, guarding a castle grows dreadfully dull, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I love that setup. It's so much better in this translation, too. Forgive us, Titra. It seems we must be leaving sooner than we had planned. Don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. Touch. I will. Mind your studies. I'll be back before you've even noticed I've gone. Off we go. Let's be on our way. Titra puts on a brave face, but the truth is not as honeyed as her words. What do you mean? So this is our actual full-blood sister. The other two are, uh, are uh, half-brothers to us. No! No, I am not finishing this game in one sitting. I have a life and a family, and at some point my wife and daughter are going to come home and demand me. Uh, she has had a hard time of it at school. The others tease her for being lowborn. Plus, I plan to grind a lot, uh, to be perfectly honest. Not a lot, but... Um, and enough to kind of overpower the story mode. Forgive me, I shouldn't have said anything. Also, I want to do the deep dungeon. I want to do the deep dungeon on this stream at some point. Uh, so this will be a long, ongoing series, just when I don't want to play anything else. Uh, forgive me, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sure you have worries enough of your own. Teacher will be all right. I'm here to look after her. There's not to worry about, but mind your own limits. You can't be responsible for any everything. Says the brother who fa never fails to do any and all that is expected of him. Don't lose size sight of yourself. Smug Wendy. You needn't let your life be ruled by the fact that you were born a Beowulf. 
Now you're starting to sound like mother. Ha 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 ha. My wife hates video games. She would ruin this. She would somehow find a way to reverse job points. <laughs> smug Wendy. Your tweets are so smug. <laughs> Alright, and off we go. Alright. Um, I'm going to go on to the siege vault. But first, let's buy some stuff. Go into the fitting room here. I think here we'll be able to buy the, uh... Mm, we're using Gilbert, but we're not gonna equip him with that. Are we using her? I can't remember. Yes! She'll get a knife, long sword. We're not using her. We're using Edita. That's right. And we're using Arby's. Okay. Okay, here's the next thing. Um, we've got battle, bo battle boots on him. Uh, we want to equip our characters with mobility enhancing weapon or things right now. Specifically, there are these extremely expensive battle boots we can buy. Shit, I can't do it. I don't have enough gill yet. Um, that increase movement by one. Once we're moving a lot, or once we have a lot of movement, it'll open up a lot more um, opportunities for us. Uh, but what we can do is very quickly, we can party roster, we can go to Argus, or Argath. In the original translation, his name was All Gus. Um, and we can take his battle boots off of him, and we can put them on somebody more deserving, like Arby's. Roast beef sandwiches. Oop. Screwing it up here. Let's go to data and let's save really quick and continue on. So we are going to head over here and then I think we're going to grind out one or two random battles here. Alright, we can only bring four people right now, so we're going to bring them Edita and uh, Gilbart. I want to get the. I want to get Gilbert. Um, I want to get Gilbert mastered in Squire really quick and switch him over to chemist, because um, I want him to basically be a power chemist, I guess. Oh, good stretch. Oh, uh, stretch. Words I can't think of make happen. Yes, our Arby's has the meat too, because he's a meaty motherfucker with a brave level of seventy and surprisingly a faith level of seventy-two. We got a really good roll on that guy. Our luck is ill that we should chance upon fiends such as these in the wood. Some of us prefer fiends in the wood to a dull watch in Castle Garrett's market. Some of us are not so quick to jape and daggers in danger's face. There we go, words. Uh-oh. They moved before the battle. That's... No, you're bad. How dare you. Defeat all enemies. All right. I think Delita always ends up going first. Delita and Argath. So what we're gonna do is um, we're just gonna sit here for a while, and we're gonna use Tailwind and accumulate for Arby's and Smug Wendy. <clears throat> um, and Once he has enough, once he, once his attack is increased enough, we'll be able to basically take out that bomb. Um, while the other characters deal with um, the goblins that'll be attacking us here. Oh, no, I want to use stone. I want to use it on Delita. Because fuck it. Um, they can't die. We can't lose them in story missions. Um, so... Um, they can't die in story missions, so we can just kind of beat the shit out of them. Thunder does 33. Fire does 33. And ice does 67. So look at our little chemist one-shotting this fucking goblin. This will be our first, uh, our first use of magic here. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I fucked up! <laughs> oh, is she gonna get one shot here? Shit! Oh, we fucked up! I'm glad I saved. Good thing Arby's has, uh... Wow, that was fucking poor. Good thing Arby's can use, uh, 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 Phoenix Downs. Problem is, she's gonna get, she's gonna get fucked up here. Wow. This might go poorly. We might have to do our grinding before we actually do the, uh... We might have to do our grinding before coming to this mission. That goblin fucking one-shot at her, bro! That shit was bad! Real bad. We're gonna wait here. They're gonna resurrect her, and she's probably gonna get smacked down immediately. Um, hopefully her, uh, her active time is not, uh, not too bad. Hello, Ancient A.V. How you doing today? Alright, we're gonna let you go there. Can I... Can I stone you? Can I get you stoned? Yeah, let's get him! She got hit hard, you gotta admit. Okay. At least he won't be able to run away after he beats the shit out of her. Yes! He might have saved her. He'll probably be able to get around. Um... Oh, no. Here we go. Good news is she didn't use any uh, any of her magic there doing that. I could definitely use her as bait, um, but I would rather use the characters that can't perma die as bait. So Argath and Delita will be, end up being bait, um, and hopefully on her next attack, she'll be able to um, get a couple of them with magic. Um, I have a feeling her magic is going to save the day here. Like if I could. Right now, I would, I would, I would uh, have her use ice on Argath over there, and try to get him to hit all of them at once. Probably wouldn't work, but it's still worth trying. All right. Oh, but he's gonna die here. Uh, this is going poorly. This is going very poorly for me. If I die here, I'm gonna have to. Sip commit Harry Carry. I don't know. Shut up! Okay, good hit. Alright, he's gonna hit him and run off. So it'd be in my interests to actually heal Delita here, since it's gonna be my turn here soon. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna use Arby's to take out this bomb. I don't think he's gonna be able to one-shot it. But he'll get it in place for our next character to hit. Yep, there we go. Bomb down. Sweet. Okay. The tide is turning. Let's see, anybody else been hit around here? I don't think so. Uh, let's see, champ. Sacrifice HP to restore twice as much to an ally. That's not worth it. What is worth it is uh, increasing the speed of our only caster here. By the way, guys, I've been playing this game for 20 years now. I still kind of suck, so if you have any tips, uh, by all means, give them to me, especially if it looks like I'm having trouble. Um, I will definitely take tips into account. Black magic. He's at 90, he's at 50, he's at 70, 70, and 70, so I'm actually going to these guys in here, so I need to move to, and I think she'll have enough uh, hit points at this point to take a hit. He might actually, he might have items equipped, I can't remember, nope, and she's going to go down. Don't kill me, please! Okay, good. It's not gonna be enough to take her out. So she'll be able to get that, get that, uh, get that ice shard off. Here we go. Alright, 46 and 56. So that one's dead. That was a good trade. As long as I can get her out of there before she gets fucked up by something else. Alright, so we can 
move Arby's up here. It's not going to be enough to take him out. I'll have to I'll have to move a lot of people in order to take him out. Goodness, is nobody else can be hit here right now. Yeah, see, I was hoping we could have gotten Gilbert in there. Do you have access to item? You do not. Not yet. So we'll actually use you to take care of this bomb. Bam. Oh, wow, and a crit with it, too. Let's turn you around to face this a-hole, who will probably immediately murder you. No, he's just gonna run like a bitch. The tide has turned! Absolutely! It's almost like this wasn't that big of a problem to begin with. And that's gonna be enough to take him out. Wow! This is great! Things are going so well! Let's heal this asshole. See if he'll have anything else to offer us for the fight here. Hopefully he shall. Move you over here. Alright, we've got... What is it? Two goblins left and that's it? Aw, oh, you're healing me. How nice of you. With a nice little chant there. You the best, fam. It's kind of nice having AI guys that can't really die. Kill you with a stone to the base. Yeah! You ain't shit. <laughs> I think you'll be able to run right up and hit him. No, let's uh, let's just be safe and get you with a stone here. And I think this will do it for this fight. Shit! <laughs> Everything's going so wrong! No! Not... This guy, I can't remember his name, because they gave us some weird screwed up names this time. Alright. Now I'll get you with the stone. Here we go. Yeah, that was enough. We did it. We did it, you guys. You're absolutely right. I could I could have I could have basically ground out some extra JP here. Um yeah, I should have done that. I think what I'll do is in between streams, I'll do that thing where everybody has accumulate on, and I'll do one mission where you just sit in the corner and use accumulate and heal each other um, after maiming all the enemies and just max out a couple jobs for everybody. Um, unless you guys want to see the grind, um, which I don't know why you would want to see 40 plus hours of grind on top of everything else, but I mean to each their own, I guess. Damn. I should have used Tailwind to grind out a few extra points here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Okay, Gilbart's good to go for a couple other things. Oh, JP Boost is the big one, too. That is, that is the skill. I think that's the next thing I'll go for with uh, Smug Wendy there as well. Turn every enemy into Toad and then throw stone at them to farm JP. I like it. I like it. There's a lot of different ways to farm JP in this game, definitely. Um, and they're all, like, dirty as fuck. They're all, like, like, just make it so nobody can fight. You really should be saving up for um, extra JP on everybody, but really should be doing that. All right, Arby's, what can you do? Nothing, nothing yet. But you've learned white and black mage skills here. You can learn Cura right off the bat and poison. Cause why not? That's good. Really, what have you got? You could cure blind silence and poison. Yeah, why not? Yeah, JP Bo JP boost is, is going to be my best bet to learn right away. Um, I'm probably going to have to uh, do a little grinding to get it for everybody right now, but I think that's going to be the next thing I do. Um, what I'm actually going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to take a quick two-minute break 
because I've had about a gallon of water in the past hour and a half, and if I don't go now, I might not make it through another fight. So bear with me for three seconds here. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Please stay with me. I'm lonely. I don't know. I'm being a goofball. Hey, thanks for bearing with me, you guys. I do need a jug. <laughs> but I'm not doing that because that would be weird. Okay, uh... We fucked with everybody so far. Okay, so now that I've unlocked um, two random battle locations, I will, in at least one or two fights here... Um, I will grind out um, uh, uh, job points up for everybody. And the way we're going to do that is the people who are squires now are going to are going to grind up to it um, and get it now. And then the people who are chemists will change to squires, and the people who are squires will change to chemists. And um, then they'll get it. And then from there we can continue on. Magwendi, Gilbard, Dionysia, Edita, and Arby's. Here we go. Yeah, thanks for bearing with me, guys. It's incredibly unprofessional for me to be like, we'll be right back. At least I'm not cutting to commercial breaks. Not like I think I don't think I can, honestly. I'm not I'm not a Twitch affiliate, I'm not a partner. I mean, look, I've got, what, two or three people watching here? Thank you guys for coming out, by the way, but my streams are not that popular, so, you know. I don't have the ability to completely sell out. Uh, I should tell you all, though, that uh, this stream is brought to you by... Uh, no, I'm kidding. It's brought to you by Honey Nut Cheerios or some shit, I don't know. What's a funny brought to you by thing? All right, RBs. Sit here and focus. 10 XP, 14 job points. Right, next. So one thing I will do is I'm just going to sit here and throw stones at the guy with the most hit points. Um, and then... Um, that'll be no problem. Because I'll with enough Tailwind uses, he'll be able to go fast enough that he'll be able to um, basically outrun anybody who might actually end up attacking him. Um, and also, I've got the, uh, the chemist just sitting back there waiting to uh, use items. And I won't need, I won't need as many potions as I'm going to end up using. Um, so and, and I'm gonna make money for beating this mission, so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be the end of the world. The Tailwind Arby's here. Because he is gonna be um he's gonna be vital to this, uh, with the fact that he can focus already. Shit, I should have put that in uh, for JP up. 
basically somebody's gonna run up and hit him and they're gonna get hit back um, and they're gonna die. It's that simple. Unless they start using ranged attacks like this asshole. <sighs> Looks like we might not end up getting to sit here um, jacking our characters up the way I want to. Dude, if I could get some free food by selling out, that'd be pretty alright. Stone boy. Yeah, take that rock to the face. You can't handle it. The nice thing about using stones is that they don't they do barely any damage, so you can sit there stoning the guys while buffing them and healing them at the same time. Hmm. Do I want to heal anybody right now? Probably not. Can I use black magic right now? I moved her two over there, I'd be able to hit him, and he's not going to be able to move fast enough for it to be a problem. I'll have to move her back to get her away from those goblins over there, but uh, that'll be fine. So let's see, what are you allergic to? Is it fire, thunder, or you're using thunder, so it won't be thunder. I think it's fire. I think these guys are uh, weak to fire. Yes, I said allergic earlier. I thought that would be funny. Fell flat. None of you are laughing in the chat. None of you are going, oh, savage. I'm sorry. No good at being entertaining. Not at all. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so that one's as good as dead. Let's get a tailwind at use in on you. That's another thing. If you, if you go through the process of... Um, just using one or two characters... Uh, for non-combat things, it makes the combat go slower, uh, which in turn, in turn ends up making it much easier to did I not use focus? Did I miss focus on him? Did I think it said another thing? Maybe I did. Darn! Damn it! I screwed up. Come on over here, Topi. So he's going to try and hit her. And he's going to be the only one that's going to be able to hit her this round. So I'm going to be able to use uh, magic on him and then back her off into the corner over there, at which point I'll probably want to heal her. Uh, that's the only guy I'm worried about. He's already taken a bit of damage, so I can probably take him out with one sweep through all of the teammates there. Oh man. This is looking real bad, you guys. There's gonna hit a point where I'm gonna stop throwing stones and start actually hitting here. Basically, once I think I can't handle it anymore. Right, let's see. How bad will fire hurt you? First of all, you have 40, you have 90, so I'm not gonna be able to hit you. I can do 51 damage to you. So I can move her all the way back over here, point her that way. Let's tailwind Arby's here. <laughs> Jam a tailwind up, Arby's! We have the meats, they're flapping in my tailwind. That's actually kind of a creepy image, I'm sorry. I want to apologize to everybody on stream today. Throw us Phoenix down on the skeleton for insta-kill. You are right. Thank you. I always forget they're weak to magic, and I could just be running around with my chemist right now throwing potions at them. Alright, so he can do 30 damage with a hit. But now he's dead. Shit. Okay, that's kind of bad. Arby's was my linchpin. Without Arby's, what will I do? Probably lose weight. healthy guy, and then you're going to face the, that guy. You have absolutely no healing capability here, so I'm going to move you here, and you're going to start swinging. Here's your A plus two. Alright. 
So obviously I'm not gonna let him die. I'm gonna have to use a Phoenix down on him, which is kind of unfortunate because those are expensive early game. Um, oh well. Hopefully I get uh, I get all these guys killed. Ah sh shit! Damn it! Well, that was an absolute. Whoops! That was an absolute waste of uh, an aim. Alright, so your best use right now is going to be to come over here and unfortunately only use a stone to hit her. I'm going to have to back her off and use my main character here as bait. Next, items, Phoenix down, and let's rehab the meats, shall we? Alright, so Arby's is back up. Hopefully, we can keep Arby's alive, which it looks like we'll be able to here. Bam. Because the other the other guy can't hit Arby's. Nah, that's not worth it. You're going to come back here. And you are going to throw a stone at our healer for no reason. Bam. That's okay, you'll get healed. And he is going to have no way to actually hit her. So he's going to run up and hit me, then I'll be able to hit him and back off for a bit. Like I said, those skeletons, I don't know if they can do it at this level, but they have a chance of resurrecting when their timer runs down. Damn it. Um, so hopefully that does not happen, because they come back with full health. Alright, he's hurt now, so we can just kind of leave him for a while. Come back here and regroup. Okay, Arby's can use items, so... you over here, and you're going to heal her. There you go. I got you. You're going to be all right. We're going to do it. We're going to make it together. All right. Let's see. Anybody else really need a potion? You do. I don't need to use it. I probably would have been better off using her to actually physically punch somebody. But here we are. I guess I can, since he has some health back, I can use him to throw stones. <laughs> oh, wait! I'm an idiot. I didn't actually end up using the thing on him. I ended up using it on her because it throws in a straight line. Oops, I'm dumb. She changed the name of this stream to I'm Dumb, the movie, the musical. I don't know. Shut up. So now we're at the point where we can just kind of grind JP. Hmm. I want to deal with Arby's. Get that accumulated. Alright, he's going to come over here and he's going to start hitting me with magic. Which is fine. I've got a healer right behind me. Hopefully this will be the last bit of grinding we do for this specific stream. Um, treasure chest. How nice. Right. I'm going to use a potion on you. I think I'll send Arby's out to grab that box. Unless you can get it. No, you cannot. Throw another stone at Arby's here. Hopefully we don't break the Arby's window. I don't know. I didn't go on Twitch because I was clever. I obtained either... It was either a potion or a high potion. Alright. Let's Tailwind myself. See, we're at the point where we can just keep speeding up the other characters so that they can keep doing things. Um, and it will be very, very beneficial uh, for us because then we just keep getting more job points. Uh, I'm wrong with that. Like I said, as long as those damn uh, undead guys don't come up. If they come up, we're going to have to immediately start doing something different. 
But at this point, we're just throwing rocks at each other's heads for shits and giggles. Fuck it. How's the stream quality, by the way, you guys? The audio and video, or is the audio levels okay? Does it look good? Uh-oh, he's gonna chop me! Shit, he chopped me. I want to end this. Probably not. Although I think I will end up moving her out of that corner soon. Uh, just so she can get a potion on Arby's. Wait, Arby's can use items. I don't need to do that. Thanks, Messy Nessie. I appreciate the feedback. Just keep tailwinding myself so that I'm going five times for everybody else's one turn. That'll be funny. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Always got to check the phone. All right. I feel like these two are brother and sister because they don't care about the fight. They just want to fuck each other up. There we go. He's getting a fair amount of turns. It's actually gained a job level. 14 job points. We're like doing barely any damage to each other, so it's working out all right. I think like a game where you can skis out the mechanics a little bit. Like the fact that the uh, the basic skills in the Squire Tree don't require any uh, like MP or anything means that like they knew you were gonna broke it, broke it, break it. There's this guy on Reddit who YouTubes this game. He has some sort of setting to make the colors pop out. You might want to ask him how he did that. He's playing the PSP version too. Um, I'll look that up. Actually, because I'm interested. I'm interested. Genuinely. What do you need? Here's where we'll actually open ourselves up for a little bit of vulnerability in order to... Somebody's dragging a cast iron stone across concrete out there. Jesus Christ. Alright, we've got a crystal. Um, crystals are important because they'll refill your hit points and magic points on your characters. Um, they're even more important later on um, when human enemies start dropping them, like once you start killing human beings, because occasionally you can learn abilities off of their off of their crystals. Whew. This guy's gonna be so focused. I'm gonna send him out to attack that guy at some point, and uh, he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> he's gonna take like a hundred damage at once. I found you on the Final Fantasy Tactics Reddit forum. You two guys are the only streamers there. Yay! My shit posting in Reddit forums worked. <laughs> well, I'm glad you found me. I like, I like games. No, I mean you can tell by my follower count. I'm trying to grow my audience at this point. Um, uh, it's my dream that all y'all will come for the games and then come back later for me. Because um, we've been doing a bunch of different games. We did we did all of Resident Evil 2 recently, and I think we're going to go back and do some of the battle mode at some point later. Um, we're playing through all the PlayStation 2 Armored Core games. Uh, I'm doing this now, uh, because fuck me, why not stream this game for 40 to 60 hours? Let's grab this here. More items, the better. A maiden's kiss. Yay, free items. Um, and um, every now and then we stream. Uh, we stream some of the Katamari games. Act metal tailwind. Screw it. Let's tailwind this asshole. Oh. Spread around the JP, you guys. I don't want to think of it as an empire, I just really like the community aspect of streaming. I have a YouTube channel which is linked below where we do Let's Plays and stuff, and I'm kind of slowly starting to shy away from those because it's not as active of like a community thing and I want to be able to talk with people while I play games. Um, so yeah, uh, 
That's why I've been doing a lot more streaming. All right, I'm just going to straight up hit this guy. And then I'm going to heal him afterwards. Actually, that was probably a stupid idea. Yep, he's going to die. Shit! <laughs> wow! I could not have done that more stupidly. And now he's dead forever. Fuck it, I've grounded it in enough. Throw one more stone. Get stoned! There we go. And now let's see, let's see what all that beefing up. He's just basically been sitting there just like mainlining protein powder. And he can only do 45 damage. I accumulated like 50 times! Oh, well, he's dead. We win. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just... <laughs> I think it's ironic that the moment I actually physically attack somebody, the enemy immediately goes and kills his ass. I know I could have checked the AT gauge on the guy to see if he was going next or not. I know I could have checked the actual list of people who are going next, but I'm an idiot, and I proved it once again. <laughs> At least you don't lose anything for, di for, like, dying or getting knocked out in a match. At least you don't, like you know, lose your experience or anything. That would be, that would be disastrous. All right, so I can equip focus, but we want JP boost and move plus one. There we go. He'll still, he'll stay here and work on the rest of his abilities here. I don't have any enough for chemist anywhere. Okay, there's JP boost, there's move plus one. Okay, so he's kitted out in all the basic abilities we can use here. Gilbart. Gilbart can do JP, but I did JP. So we good. Put focus on you. And then you'll get moved over to a chemist here soon. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Dionysia is next. Damn, I didn't even learn enough to get JP boost for her, so she's not changing over to chemist yet. Uh, Adita will be moving over here shortly. Don't check the turn list. I don't check the turn list. I like not knowing or exciting and unexpectedness. Yeah, but you can, like, mathematically figure this game out to a science. Damn it, I don't even have enough for throw items. Okay, I'm gonna, unfortunately, have to have a... Uh, a chemist here, or a person with a secondary chemist ability that I'm not gonna be able to really do anything with. We're gonna leave her squire points alone, because JP boost is gonna be the next thing we're gonna work with her. And then, over here to Arby's. Okay, now JP Debt Boost. Okay. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be job swapping these guys here shortly. Alright. So let's actually do that right now. So Arby's is becoming a chemist. Edita is becoming a squire. Anisia is not becoming a chemist because she didn't get JP boost, and Gilbart is becoming a chemist. Alright, so we're gonna basically be unkillable by just being able to use items every turn across a distance. Alright, we go here, buy some more items. Buy. Buy the potions, which are right here. 30 potions will be more than enough to get us through the stuff. Uh, grab. Grab three Phoenix Downs, why not? And then from here... Gilbart has a Mithril Knife. Uh, oh wow, we have better clothing now. Um, clothing is the main way to increase hit points and magic points in this game. Edita is a Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep her uh, magic on her. So we're actually we're actually going to equip those on her. Uh, and you know what, Arby's will be worth it. We don't need to upgrade everybody right now. We just need to upgrade them enough. All right, so from here we can save. And if we get into another random battle, that's good. Um, if not, we will continue on with the story. Um, the way the story works, if you just only do the story stuff, you are going to get outclassed by enemies very, very quickly. Um, they assume that you're taking time in random battles to grind out your characters. Um, 
Like, it is assumed that you're doing that. Um, because you get to, like, the third or fourth mission and you're fighting, like, monks already. Alright, I want to bring Gilbart. I still want to bring Dionysia. And let's bring... Ooh, who's more important to me? Arby's or Adita? What do you guys think? Arby's or Adita? I'm thinking Arby's just because of the whole chemist thing, but Adita has magic. What do you think? I'll let the chat decide. <laughs> hmm. Scratch. Alright, chat, you got 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah! Arby's. That wasn't exactly flipping, but fuck it. <laughs> and I don't have a coin on me, whoops. I guess I could have taken the time to download an app, but it would have been faster for me to just go get a coin or jam on the button and then hit A. Which I did. And I ended up with... Who did I end up with? I think I ended up with Arby's. I think I did. I said I know not of it. Look at this fucked up shanty town. Do not speak false to me. I know what you've done. Where is Gustav? I will have it from you one way or another. I don't know! What of the Marquis? Where have you hidden him? Tell me! You son of a bitch! Kill all your families! <laughs> He's freaking out, mate. Deal! I will not ask again. Where are they? The desert. They're in the desert. Sandrat Steak. I don't know how to pronounce that. Steach, maybe. Hold! The Order's swords. My luck turns foul with the weather. And he runs away. Little bitch! Seems we did well to come here. I have not... Have I not seen that man before? You know him, Delita. I have seen his face. I'm sure of it. It was at Egros just after the war's end. Oh no, there's bros! Got all these bros! See, so like, we're... What, mission three now? And we're dealing with... Excuse me, we're dealing with knights and wizards. You'll pardon me my misgivings, but this is not the look of any joyous reunion. Two arms! If I get fucked up here, I'm gonna be sad. Uh, there's archers as well. Um, we're actually at an extreme disadvantage by just being squires and chemists right now. Um, but so be it. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, handle it okay. I've just remembered that man, his name is Vygraf. He commanded the dead men during the war, a company of volunteers assembled from the peasantry. What? But that would make him... I, the commander of the Corpse Brigade, and brought to you by DollarShaveClub.com. I don't know. <laughs> so we just ran into the commanda. Alright, these guys are going up there. That's actually kind of the best bet for this one so far, is to make our way up the thing and then work our way down. Um... The archers are going to be kind of interesting to fight uh, because archers are obviously ranged um, and they do better at height. So there's that one that's up on top of the building there and uh, he's going to be my first priority here because um, he can hit anybody. So he's already aiming at my damn chemists here. Fucking up Arby's, how dare you? Um, they have a little bit harder of a time shooting uphill um, or they can equip crossbows which they fire in a straight line. Um, which becomes useful for them later. Um, however, equipping an archer with an actual bow and arrow uh, set is probably the best because you can kind of sit an archer somewhere and then they don't really have to move much and they, they can have overwatch on an entire battle, basically. Right, hopefully I don't block this up too much. Right, use a potion on myself. This is why I bought 30 potions. Uh, because I'm going to take damage getting up to this guy, and I've got the other guys to worry about, too. Right, what can you do? I can't do much. Fuck it. Take it, Algus. Argaf. Fuck it. I don't know what your name is anymore. I've been calling you the other thing for decades and decades. Alright, what can you do? Shit, I forgot to equip their skills! Ah, oh, this could go poorly. Um, because I was, I was, I was, 
uh, intent on making sure these guys have focus and stuff. Damn, I fucked up! I'm gonna owe the chat an apology when I fucking die my ass off here. Luckily, these guys down below can't move too fast. Um, those archers are gonna be able to hit across the way. Uh, this one's gonna get up here. He's gonna be able to hit a couple of us. Oh, I guess not. But that second archer is going to be an issue uh, here shortly. And uh, the amount of ranged, ranged uh, dudes they have is what's going to end up being the issue here. Alright. I'm hoping I can hit this guy with a stone and actually knock him off. Because uh, that'll cause some damage. And I wasn't able to do that. That's okay, I've got damage on him, so... Better than nothing, unfortunately. You can throw a stone at him? Fuck yeah. Knock him off! Knock him back! Do it! Damn it! Shit's going real poor! at Arby's again. Actually, I don't know if that's Arby's or the other guy. I don't remember their names. I'm sure I'll remember their names by the time all of this is over. You should name one of your wizards Gandalf. You can't rename people, can you? I know you can rename... I know you can hire new guys, but I kind of want to stick with the guys I have now, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't know. We'll see where this... Bad idea of a stream takes us. Yeah, you fell down. Unfortunately, it wasn't far enough for him to uh, actually take damage. Alright. Being bunched up like this is going to be incredibly poor if we end up... Um, if we end up in a situation where the mages can get close to us because they can hit a bunch of us at once. Uh, yeah. Alright, I think you can actually be able to get up there and... Nothing. Okay, good job, asshole. We're gonna do our entire fight on this on this fucking hill, I think. Alright, can you hit anybody yet? No, you cannot. You've gotta come up here to try and hit anybody. Oh, you don't even have bow and arrow! You're just the dude who's gonna punch people. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is real bad. It's real bad, you guys. Shit, they're gonna be able to one-shot her. All right, we need to end you and quickly, sir. Perfect! Perfect crit! Here comes the pain, you guys. Shit. Yeah, these two wizards together are gonna kill her. Damn it. Good thing we have more chemists than we know what to do with here. One squire. You're gonna be able to do something. The good news is they have no health, so maybe Delita will be able to actually get in there and cause them enough damage. The problem is now I have to spread out my guys or um, we're all gonna die. Okay, so we're gonna use a phoenix down on you. We're going to drag you up this hill here to hopefully bait that archer into coming up so that we can hit him with our main guy on the way back down. So you're going to come up here. Actually, you're just going to hit my squire again. I know you are. Damn! Good shit, bro. I didn't equip any of the abilities. I am I'm at an extreme disadvantage here. Oh, I couldn't have gotten him. Damn. All right. That knight is going to cause problems, too. Everything's going to cause problems, and I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, wow. You hit me with your crossbow. Good on you. Deserve a hug, bro. Can I hit you with this? No, I cannot. Not from here, anyways. I can, however, hit you right there. And then hit you with a stone. If I can use if I can use that squire the entire time as bait um, for those fucking wizards, we'll actually be able to hit Algus and the fucking squire here. Shit. We might be able to get out of time. Maybe. Damn. Damn, 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 damn! Oh. I have no actually good way of, of getting them right now. 
Except hoping that... Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Shit. Oh! This is gonna become a serious problem. Hopefully he can take out... Yeah, like, Delita by himself is going to stone these wizards to death before I can get my fucking act together. No... This will actually probably work. You don't even have the ability to use a fucking Phoenix now. My guy up there does, though, so that'll help out. And luckily, uh, smug Wendy is in a position where she, he can just do whatever the fuck he wants. Alright, we want to hit her. No, 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 no. No, no, shit. I'm getting flustered here, you guys. Hopefully he can throw it over that little corner right there. Yep, okay. So this will raise her. Shit, I might actually have problems here with where I put that other chemist. Because he's going to be able to... This guy's... Okay. This might actually work out. Probably not, but... Oh man, if I fail this here, I'm gonna feel real bad. Damn, he got hit. I wanna hit that guy. I can't get him in anywhere. Alright, you should be able to do it though. If I increase your speed a little bit, that might end up helping us in the long run here. Hopefully it'll help us in the long run here. Alright. Trying to leave him out as bait, but he is not the weakest guy by a long shot, so it's never going to end up being that way. Alright, both of these wizards are going to target my bad chemist. Hopefully without enough damage to be able to hurt, to kill him outright. Oh, never mind. Uh... They've got him. Shit. Well, I guess it's a good thing I saved. Because, damn. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how poorly this has gone for me. If I can just sit here and use all my Phoenix Downs on these guys, which is incredibly expensive and probably a poor idea and then just use Delita and this main guy to... Come on, get him. Yes! Okay. The tide might turn. Yeah, that's not gonna hit you. Your best bet is gonna hit, going to be to hit and fucking run. Look at this! We got one of them out of there! Yeah! I think at this point our best bet is to just speed up my damn uh, chemist here. Hopefully grab a few abilities off of some of these guys. What are you doing? You're dumb. Alright, what are you going to be shooting at? You're going to be shooting at Delita? Yeah. Which means that the wizard is going to be going after Delita as well. Oop. I want to use a potion on her. Luckily, the uh, the knight there doesn't have um, any sort of counter move. So I should be able to fairly easily... Let's, let's throw a stone here. Let's start working on... I can't throw a stone at anybody. Okay. Tailwind you again. See, I'm at the point where I like I need to I need to like boost my stats enough that I, I stand a chance against these ranged guys. And the good news is, like, uh, Delita has done so well taking out these damn Why would you aim for that and not the wizard? The wizard's almost dead, you retard! Actually, no, I don't think that wizard's almost dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay.
Okay, that's not terrible. This guy is going to take a ton to kill. Alright. The good news is, with that Mithril Knife, we'll be okay. Alright, Delita's gonna die here. Unfortunately. Oops. Which means that they are now going to be coming after me. Dropped a treasure chest. Is I might be able to take out this knight before having to deal with everybody else. Because at this point, he's going to hit one of us. Actually, yes, I'll be able to do this. What about this guy? Here, you can be bait for the wizard. Sorry, I'm going to have to sacrifice your body like this. Oh, if he goes down... I can't resurrect anybody yet. Now I have to do this in three turns. Well, that was a poor choice of me. In attack, you can use items and you can aim. Use a potion on you. I'm gonna have to, like... Right, we got a leather cap. If I lose my dude there, I'm probably going to restart this. The good news is we might actually be able to take care of this with what we've got right now. Alright, you're gonna be casting... Nowhere! Okay! That's... Oh, he's probably out of MP! Okay. We, we may have a fight on our hands. Get him! Yeah! Smug Wendy gained a level. Alright, you're gonna come up here and start hitting me, which is a stupid move for you. Because I can just heal myself here. The problem is, she's pretty much single handedly gonna have to take out everybody. Like, she's gonna have to take out this a hole which she is not equipped to do. Because, like, I'm going to be able to get him here with her in this next turn here, but then we've still got the archer to deal with. Can you even hit anybody from here? Oh, you can hit me. The main character, player character. Smug Wendy. There we go. Obtained a rod. I got a rod for ya. Okay, cool. We might be able to do this. We might be able to do this. You're gonna hit me. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You're gonna run away? You can't run away. I think we might make it out of here with all of our chemists. Oh, it's gonna come down to this. Yes! I can't believe we fucking did it! <laughs> wow! I cannot believe it, you guys. That was awesome. Wow. We did, like, by the skin of our teeth, but we did it. Fucking crazy, you guys. Oh, good stretch. 300 gil. 500 gil, an iron sword, hemp and robe, and an ether. Good. Okay. That could have gone much better, but we made out we made it out by the skin of our teeth. We know you're up the brigade. Brigade, there's no use hiding it. Out with it. What have you done with the marquee? Where are you holding him? You were with your commander, Vigraf, when he when we came upon you. Where is he gone? Mayhap a beating would loosen your tongue. Damn! To the stomach. Or the face. Enough, Argeth. 
Listen well. A great host with order with the order at its van prepares a sweeping campaign that will break to book your turn cloak brigade. You will die. You will be hunted down to the last and slaughtered like the swine you are. For such is brigandry's, brigandry's reward. But you, pig, are a lucky one. Tell us what we wish to know, and you may yet keep your bacon. So where is Vigraph? How the bloody hell should I know? Damn! Kicked in the face! I'll not bear your ribald tongue, rogue. Learn to guard it if you not have it cut from your throat. I am no rogue. Tell that to the men you've robbed. You nobles are all the same. You think every man born outside a castle's walls less than human. We fought for this kingdom at peril of our very lives, yet the moment the war was ended, you turned us out into the streets. What do you think makes you so special? Birth? Blood? What difference does it make? You kidnap men for ransom, then dare ask the difference between us? No, the Marquis' kidnapping was no plan of Wygraf's. Huh? He would never hold a man for ransom. Then who? Someone kidnapped his ass. Speak! If not you, then on whom would you pin the deed? It was Gustav. Who is Gustav? Gustav Margriff, Lieutenant Commander of the Dead Men. So the Corpse Brigade was behind the kidnapping. No, we're not like Gustav. We fight to end the aristocracy, not to become it. To be treated as equals, as the men of honor we are. Damn! What do you maggots know of honor? That's enough, Argeth. Fucking snot, little kid. So where is this Gustav? In the Sand Rat's Steech. Sand Rat? You are not of Galeon. Small wonder you've not heard of them. Sand Rats are unique to the Zeklaus de Desert north of Dordor. Huh? Do any villages lie between here and the desert? Villages? No, at least not anymore, but the desert men once held a once had a settlement on the outskirts, and its ruins remain. That's where we'll find Gustav and the Marquis. Aye, like as not. How can you be so certain? The Steech is a sand rat's burrow, his home. Ah! I'm probably totally pronouncing that wrong. Let's see, how's everything looking in the stream? Looks okay. Okay, that's our next mission, but we desperately need to grind. So we gonna do that. Alright, the stream itself is looking okay. The video itself is looking alright. Sorry, gotta check sometimes. Oop, bring that down a bit. What the fuck? Wow, that's kind of ridiculous. What a glitchy system Twitch has sometimes. Video preview. And let's continue on. So first of all, we need to... We'll save next. First of all, we need to fix our party here. Alright, you've got 374, so you can learn focus. Which you shall learn. That's your next important thing. Now you have two things you can do. In chemist, you've learned enough to use Phoenix Down. Not enough for anything yet. Unlock Black Mage for our main character. White Mage as well. Protect in there, why not? Gilbart has learned much as a chemist. Treasure Hunter is more important. We'll go Treasure Hunter, why not? I don't think I have plus one on here. Nope. Fundaments. There we go. What else do you need? We don't need to learn anything. We need to assign something to you, though. Probably the items. As long as everybody can use items right in the beginning, we'll have an easier time of it. There's Arby's. Okay, Arby's is alive. We really fucked up by not equipping all the stuff we needed to equip on those characters. Right, we've got JP boost, and now we're going to have to work on the rest of the stuff. Sometimes the... well, not sometimes. The very hardest part of this game is the beginning. Oh, wow, I have 200 as the squire I can use. Move plus one or counter tackle. I don't know. 
What do you guys think? Move plus one or counter tackle? Hmm. Probably counter tackle for now. I feel like counter tackle is really important early on simply because it gives you the ability to. Oops, not worry about spending any of that yet. It, it just gives you the ability to assign a little bit of damage. Ah, oh, you said move plus one, darn it. Put the fundaments on you. Counter tackle, JP boost. I didn't even have JP boost equipped for that last one. Damn it. Squire, can you learn anything yet? No, you cannot. You can learn stuff in chemist, but that's not so important. We will equip you Fire and Blizzard. We will assign that to our secondary defend. There we go. Let's see. You know, need, no, no, the words. Can't make words. Or get this kind of shit. And we don't want him using our items here, so. Treasure Hunter's good. Mood plus one, Treasure Hunter. Dionysia. Some people I've never used. So let's sort them by level experience then. Here we go. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, yeah, no, that is what I wanted to do because we've learned everything. Now we're going to save and we're going to grind out uh, some more stuff for everybody. And I think that'll probably be. It'll probably take about a half an hour. So from there we will probably end the stream. Outfitter. Because we've been. We'll, be, we'll have been going for about three hours at that point. That's a good stream length. Right. Increase some hit points here with the extra stuff we got. Yeah, you need that. Okay. We've still got a thousand to use. So let's equip on Dionysia some battle boots. There we go. Spend every gill we have. Nope, we're good. Now we will save. Darn it. It was like saving after doing all the stuff and then going on to something that could kill me. Can't die in menus. Plane, nope. Looks like we might be fighting in the sea troll here. Nope. Plane? Come on, plane. Ah! I want to fight on the plane. Actually, I really don't care where I fight. It's all fine, no matter what we do. It's all good in the hood. Wow, we are really not getting lucky on these random battles. I know they're going to give us a random battle. I know we're, we, do, we don't, don't have access. There we go. Took long enough. Skill part. Yeah, Ada to and Arby's. There we go. Alright, let's make some shit happen. Hope we get hope we get a lot of guys to fight. We hope they all make mistakes right away. So we can blow them up. Now you guys in the chat play the uh, the Android game uh, Brave Exvius. If you guys haven't seen that, it's uh it's a free-to-play, like, old-school Final Fantasy game with a bunch of dumb, you know, fee-to-play bullshit thrown in there. Or not fee-to-play, um, like, microtransaction bullshit thrown in there. It's pretty good. I've got, um, a character, or a couple characters from this game in my, uh... Oh, shit, we've got the Taurus, uh, monsters already here. The big bulbs. That's bad. Okay. Throw stones. Fucking throw it at this guy. We'll be fine. The fact that everybody has a lot more health now is pretty good. It's okay. If you need a time waster on your phone, you should check it out. If not, you know, no big deal. That bull is going to be an issue. That thing can one-shot every character I have right here. Alright, can you focus yet? No. You can just stone. 
Probably shouldn't be stoning my chemists here. Probably a poor choice. Alright, armies. Time for you to get your strength up here. Oh, you have focus too? Yay! Both of my chemists have focus. They can uh, gain a ton of job points here, actually. Although probably the one coming out of it with the most job points is going to be uh, Smug Wendy here. Uh, that's probably for the best because Smug Wendy has a lot more to learn in the, uh, in the, the Squire tree. Um... So that's probably for the best for now. Um, it's going to be useful and pay dividends much further on down the road to take uh, Smug Wendy, the main character, immediately from Squire to Knight um, and max out at least the job level for not Knight, or for Knight, if not master it completely. Black magics. Let's hit you with some fire. And wait until they're all going to get up close and then blast them. Hit anybody with a stone yet? No? So I'll just hit my uh, Chemist here. Yeah, fights in the beginning of this game are honestly kind of intimidating. Because um, they get a lot more hit points than you, a lot faster than you do. Um, especially if you're taking time to level up your basic uh, stuff. It would probably be smarter of me to rotate who through who's learning the basic stuff, but um, it'll be fine, probably. That guy is a fucking problem. I can't throw a stone at him yet, so I'll just keep making myself faster. The way this game usually goes is right in the beginning. It's your turn, the other turn, or your team, the other team, your team, the other team, your team, the other team. Your team, the other team. So getting somebody who, who can basically interrupt their turns and go in the middle of their turns becomes incredibly useful later on. Right, she's going to take a lot of hits here from both him and the, the Bone Demon or whatever it's called over there. Oh, at least the uh, counter tackle is uh, paying off there. All right, so what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to go after my Squire there. Interesting. Good thing we've got the chemists back there. I think everybody, almost everybody, has access to items. So it might end up not even being a problem. Alright, this will actually be useful because if that bull goes next... Which it will not. Okay. okay, he can't get moved back by that stone throw, so it's safe for me to uh, cast that fire there still. He's going to get fucked up here. And... Let's see. Can be worth it to heal anybody here. Probably you, but we'll do all the healing next round here. Throw a stone at this A-hole. Get him down to hopefully a one-shot between the two chemists and the squire here soon. I probably should have moved her up to try and hit him and the, uh, the bull at the same time, but this will work out alright. See, can I hit you with a stone from here? I can. I shall. And I fucked up. Damn it, I was about to say one less thing to worry about, but then it turned out to be something I really have to worry about. Well, I guess he can't one-shot everybody yet. But he does have counter abilities that become very poor here soon. Oh, good. My speed up thing is becoming much better. I hit him real hard. I should probably equip one of my squires with that uh, iron sword I got from the previous fight. Probably should. Ah, there you go. You got hit. This one's going down this time. There's 
15 down. Hopefully, it'll only take one of them. You do not have the ability to heal yourself yet, so I'm going to have to move one of my chemists over here to get you next. Uh-oh. Shit. Wow. Good job, a-hole. <laughs> forget they get, or I forgot they get the turn punch. That's, uh, that's an ability you get later on in the game, um, for certain classes. That one's one shot for this one, so I'm gonna send you out here. As long as you actually hit him, there we go. I can send him the other way to heal her. He'll probably take the next hit from the bull demon. Or the bull, I don't know, I don't think it's a demon. Honestly, you do fight some demon things later on. They're kind of crazy looking. Alright. Uh, ah! Oh, hey, you missed me. Nice. Alright, what are you going to do? Yep, I knew you were going to go after my chemist. Good news is you can't really do too much to hurt me. Oh, so we got through this without anybody really getting hurt. That's nice. Also looks like we're going to be... Uh-oh. The moment I say words, my words are turned around on me and I'm made to look like an idiot. I should be able to hit him from there. Oh, no. I can't. I'm an idiot. Again. What hurts you? Fire and thunder don't hurt you. Do Blizzard hurt you? Yeah, Blizzard hurt you real good. Better than nothing, I guess. Alright. I'll be able to use the chemist to pick my other guy up. Although it actually might not be worth it. Whoops! I have a speed up button mapped to my controller for grinding. Um, and every now and then I hit it. There we go. Let's throw a stone at this guy. See, if we use a phoenix down to revive that guy, which we may end up having to anyways, um, it'll end up basically costing us $300 uh, dollars or 300 gil to replace that. So if we can take this guy out without using it, even though that guy misses out on a turn or two of job points and experience, it'll actually end up working out better for us. Are you going to do your spin punch? Yeah, you are. Did it kill anybody? Nope. Kind of hurts him. <laughs> Have you prayed to your god lately? Go meet him. <laughs> yeah, I'm badass talking shit to... Ones and zeros on a stream. Yeah, I'm the best. We'll be able to do a bit more grinding here, I think. <clears throat> right, let's learn some more abilities. I'm not too worried about mastering this right now. But there... Actually, I don't need to do anything with this one right now. So we'll just dump some of these real quick here. And then we'll move him on to Knight immediately. Alright, what have you got? He'll get there soon. Your next one for there is Counter Tackle. Good enough to learn High Potion. Do you know? Phoenix down here is not. Okay. There we go. Now he's useful. You just learned all your mage stuff. And we've got this. How nice. Okay. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay. Dionysia, what can you learn? Learn JP boost. Counter tackle or focus? 
Focus will probably be better for now, just for grinding. Then we'll get counter tackle later, and we'll be good from there. Kira, Kudia. Finally, JP boost for you, girl. Thank God. We do have treasure hunter for her. Oh, nice. Alright, and now to learn Arby's something good. Treasure hunter's good for now. I'll be switching him over, or back over to Chemist here shortly. Or back over to Squire. Yes, because I need to get their uh, job levels up. In fact, I need to keep all of these guys as they are for now. Actually, I don't. I'm going to move him up, and then I'll go back to have him as a, a squire later. For now, you get to become my heavy hitter. Let's take a look and see. Some more items. Okay, so no more items for you. You get metal. Arts of War lets you break stuff. So you can break enemy equipment, um, which will immediately drop their hit points and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's very useful for battle. Um, it's not useful when you're breaking stuff you would rather steal. Okay. Good as we are right now. Gilbart, you stay as a chemist. switch you back over to Chemist here. And probably I'm going to have this character max out Chemist. Arby's. You're going back to Squire. There we go. Arby's after Squire will probably end up as a Black Mage for a little while. Uh, either, yeah, Black Mage. Or no, not Arby's, excuse me. Gilbart will end up as a uh, black mage here. In fact... Why not? Alright. So we've got a little bit of variety now. Fine with you still having fundaments, because screw it, eventually you're going to have to slap somebody when you run out of that stuff. So now we have... We have one chemist, black mage, hmm. that'll be good for grinding. So here's what we'll do. We'll go over and do the story thing, and from there I think we'll close out the stream. Right. If we make it here, we make it here. If we don't, we fight, and then close out the stream. What do we do? Ah! Damn it, that's right. That's not the story mode. I'm a fucking idiot. But I do want to come here to outfit you in some fucking stuff. Alright. Can't do anything for any of these characters. Okay. the rest of our money on stuff. Oh! Exactly enough money to buy that. We'll save again. Just in case something happens. And we'll go do the story thing. Hopefully we can make it all the way there. Nope! <laughs> Looks like we're doing this. Fuck it! I'll end out the thing with the story. Black Mage. Squire. Chemist. Let's go. Alright, so here's where things are going to start getting more interesting, because it's not everybody with the exact same skills. And that'll be important in the long run. Um, because if you end up running into people who are all weak to the same thing, or strong against something, you're not going to be fucked. You don't usually run into that, but... Having extra abilities usually lends to increasing survivability immensely. Alright. These names in this... 
remember them being a little bit easier. I didn't change around his shit again. Fuck it. Should have items re-equipped. Sit here and focus for an hour. Not really, but... Uh, knights are usually pretty slow. So let's, uh... Increase Smug Wendy's speed by a lot here. Uh, knights are also hard to kill. With that shield, um, they're able to block a lot of physical attacks. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? Okay, you can focus. So I've got three characters that can focus and one character that has to sit over there hitting the mage and then healing the mage. It's kind of silly. And I'll basically sit here and do this until the enemy gets over here. Then I'll kill them and move on to continue on with the stream. And continue on with the story. It's not like there it's not like there's no downside to doing this except for time. Which I mean, I'm streaming, it's not exactly like time is an issue here. This issue is that I did not re-equip the fucking skills on Arby's. more attack on you, and then next you will be healing him. Oh, not black magic. There we go. I think so. I think two characters that can deal black magic damage right now. The two in the back. Get you with another tailwind there. Alright. Slowly closing in. They are. Smug Wendy gained a job level, oh my god. I'm a level two idiot. Oh wow. You chose her out of everybody you could have chosen. You chose her. I don't know why that's a problem, it's honestly not. Alright, so it looks like everybody's getting hit today. Good news is he can counter tackle and he's been focusing, so he might actually hit him for a fair amount of damage here. Well, whatever. It's fine. You can hit him for 30. Here we go. Open it up. Now everybody's gonna want to attack my damn, uh... person back there. Oh, come on. Actually, no. You are staying right there. You are aiming at this fuck. You do more damage. There we go. I want to keep her hit there because I want to protect the uh, black mage in the back there. Because um, obviously the black mages are a bit of glass cannons. Um, so you want to physically protect them as much as possible. Doing that will also stop the guy that was over there from moving, if he had a chance to move before that spell went off, but he didn't. So that one's just getting hit. Okay. I'm gonna stop this fuck right here. It's pretty good damage. That is also good damage, hell yeah. So now he's, instead of trying to come over to all our squishier guys, he's occupied with me now. Um, whoops! Y'all didn't see that! <laughs> Oops! Alright. I think she can actually take this guy out. Yep! Look at that! That's kind of badass. Can I get you? I think I can get you before you. Oh, 
Yeah, the knights are really good in a straight up fight, which is basically what I've been doing. Right over here, look over this way. Ah, oh, damn, he got out of the spell range. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So his spell's gonna go off, but since nothing is there, it's not gonna hit anything, basically. Alright, there we go. Focus you for a bit. The mage is gonna land the killing blow here. Because <clears throat> I'm waiting for his turn to come up, and he's just gonna slap this thing in the face to death. In fact, I'm gonna help uh, uh, hasten the inevitable by uh, making our mage just a teeny bit faster. Um, it doesn't actually make the combat go faster, increasing people's speed. It just um, uh, changes when they get to attack in relation to other people. So there we go. There's another little grindy bit down. Oh, good stretch. Oh. The battle is won. 2,900 gil. That's pretty good. All right, on to the story. Once we do the story, we shall, uh, I don't know. The best thing you can get out of the knights is defensive abilities like parry, block physical attacks with the equipped weapon, um, and the ability to equip uh, swords in other jobs. Uh, the, the rending skills are kind of okay. Because you, you can rend stats, too. Um, which is honestly... It's honestly more useful for uh, the enemies to use on you. Because it makes you easier to kill down the line. Can you... Yes, you can. Fuck yeah. Now you can defend yourself a little bit. Parry, but I'm not worried about that. Actually, nope, you're learning parry right now. You don't have any special thing. Go. Ada Toe, what can I do to you? What can I do to you? What can I do for you? Nothing. And Arby's. Arby's needs to have his fucking skills re equipped because I was an idiot and didn't do that in the first place. I'm just learning the skills to learn them at this point. I have the skills I need, so I'm not worried about getting other skills or not. Let's see. You shall look up items. Do you have any movement stuff? Nope, but you have Treasure Hunter. That's good. Alright. Quick save and off we go. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I know I'm not the best player in the world, but I think, I think we've had some fun today. I hope we have. I hope I'm entertaining you. Alright. Want a healer in the beginning or with us in the front here. And for the back team. We will equip Arby's and Gilbar. I'll be able to get some good uh, black mage attacks in here. So this is the fourth, fourth or fifth mission, I think. Um we're already going to be running into some of the best classes in the game. Um, especially for the player. Uh, that class right there, that's a monk. Um, they don't require items. Like, they don't require heavy equipment. And they can do some ridiculous damage. Um, and they can also heal and revive uh, without using items. Then you've heard about the order. They mean to strike us for true. Aye, I've heard. So what's to become of us? I say we forget this business and run. There's naught for it. Agreed. If we follow Vygraf, he will lead us only to our graves. Aye, that much is plain. Gods be good, Gustav's ransom of the Marquis will f fatten our purses enough that we can quit this life good and for all. Oh, and now you're all gonna die. We must silence this watch before they can raise the alarm, eh? Defeat all m and -Ms. Fuck them up, yo. 
Delita is going to run his ass in there. Uh, which is good, because if you can box those guys up, um, you can sit there and hit them in close range uh, with a bunch of good shit. Plus, they really don't want to move. That guy will be a problem. Look at that. He's got an actual arrow, which allows him to fire over other people, which means that he's not firing like a crossbow, like, you know, just in the air. I don't know. Right, so see how these guys are lined up? Uh, except that he's made, made his way out already. Damn it. Okay, those two monks are going to be a problem. can get in here and start speeding up our wizard. We should be able to take out all of these guys with a couple uh, a couple spells. So that's actually going to be the important strat we stick with here. Good news is I have two spell users here. Nothing for it yet. You use a potion on anybody useful. No. Fuck it. I'm just gonna hit our boy. There we go. It'll be fine. Alright. Gotta jam my squire here and use him to basically plug up this hole. Because now they can't get past him. Now this guy can come in. start really getting people. Like, right now he can't. And I should probably save my MP. I'm gonna save my MP. Like, you can sit there and focus. Oh, you just hit yourself with fire, dude. You're kind of dumb. You killed yourself! He killed himself, you guys! He killed himself! Oh god, he's dead! These guys are kind of shuffling around here. Those guys are running out the back. That'll become a problem eventually. Um, right now, not so much. Right. As long as I can keep, uh, as long as I can keep Arby's alive in that door, uh, these guys are somewhat trivialized. The question is, that does 30. That does 30. Is 30, so it doesn't matter what we use. But now we can start hitting multiple guys at once. Except that this asshole's gonna move. Son of a bitch! And he can hit my di- mm. I'm stupid. I'm doing this stupidly. Good news is, is I, might, I might actually be able to not one-shot this guy, but get him to a point where he's not gonna be chasing everybody around. A little closer, so I can start using you to heal up our boys. Healing up the uh, healing up our, our mage is going to be the biggest uh, biggest concern for us shortly. All right, that's useful. Also, if they stay in a line, that's going to be useful later on. All right. There we go, we've done some damage with the mage. I really should have checked to make sure that it was gonna go the way I wanted it to, but better than nothing. All right, so these guys hit really hard. Look at that, half my health. And this guy's gonna hit me hard too, I bet. Here. He's 36, he's 96, he's 76. So if I aim right there, I should be able to hit both of them, and I'm going to force that knight to move. See, now I should have been aiming the other way. All right, he's going to hit me with his spin attack, and almost kill me. Shit. Good thing I've got a chemist waiting in the wings. 
All right, here's a good hit. Here's where he makes his money. 69 damage. Hey, 69. Get it? Do you get it? It's a sex thing. And now nobody in there can actually hit anybody. All right, can I stone him? No, I cannot because his buddy's in the way. Do you have a counterattack? No, you do not. So I can actually straight up kill you and run the fuck out of here. <laughs> not too bad. And we've got our chemist waiting in the wings. Look at that. Look at that. This is going pretty well. If they get out of that general area, you're fucked. Luckily, I really had to deal with that. Alright. I'm gonna throw a stone. Fuck it. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, unless I can hit them all with magic before that fucking shit breaks up. Is Algus gonna run in there? Yeah, maybe I can hit Algus with magic too. He's functionally invincible, it's fine. He's got plot armor. Son of a bitch, Algus! Argath. I don't care what your name is, I hate you. You're the worst. Whoa! That was some damage. 55? That's nuts. I've still got five more magic strikes on me. Aw, uh, he got out of the way in time. Thunder! 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 Right, yeah, these guys are taking some hits now. So let's see, is he going to retreat further into the hole? No, he's going to retreat as far back that way as he can. Got this other, uh, oops, not wait. Got this other mage out here. 44 and 84. Let's see. Can I hit him before it's too late for him? Can I hit you? No, I cannot. Can I hit you still? Yes, I can. <laughs> he blocked it. That was sick, bro. You did it. That can be enough to get him with the stone. I think I, I think I'm one out of range. Yep. Good thing I can uh, just increase my speed a little bit here. See, this is why it's nice to have those passive abilities that you can just use to enhance your character when you don't have an ability or you don't have the ability or the, the, the yeah the ability I guess to attack or defend. Right, that one's dead. Nice. Two more knights and a shitty monk, and we're almost done. And at this point, it's just like they can't get over to me because there's bodies in the way. So I can just sit here and pelt them with these fucking magic attacks. Oh, lame. He used a potion. That's okay, after you get hit with that magic, I'm gonna run all, uh, Arby's in there, and Arby's is gonna show you why he has the meats. Unless he keeps using potions, in which case, it'll be a problem for us. Also be a problem for us, not really a problem, but it'll be bad if the damn uh, bodies disappear. You're at 26, you're at 55. Just stand there and focus. I like you in the doorway. You ain't getting run in yet. We're almost there, you guys. Wow, that guy does not take much damage from... That guy does not take much damage at all from uh, magic attacks. Alright. Finally get him. No, this guy just wants to live. Finally out of magic for this guy, so I'm gonna have to run in here eventually anyways. After this one goes off, we're gonna rush in. After this one, we're rushing B. <laughs> Get it. He's healing again! Yes! The uh, monk over here has backed himself into a corner. He doesn't really have... He, he's dead this round. It's, it's 
kind of a guarantee at this point. Good, we've done 30 to you. My mage is going to get it. He's almost dead. But he hit him for 12 damage, so that's alright. And it doesn't matter, because I'm getting picked right back up, buddy. Yay! We're almost there! We've almost accomplished the mission. Hey, we got him! How about that? Now he's gonna hit me and run away. Like a bitch. And then Smug Wendy bringing up the rear to uh, finish it off will... Uh, Tristan disappeared, leaving behind a treasure chest. Unfortunately, the treasure chest is right there. Let's see. Can I do it? Nope. Got three more. If the enemy picks up the treasure in the treasure chest, which he just did, you can't get it. That would have been a really nice bow to have, but unfortunately, we are not able to now. Due to the way the bodies are strewn about in here, So he can move. He cannot. So we hit him with that. That should do it for him. We can hit him with a stone as well. That would be better. Nope. Fucking worthless. I will kill all of you knights with stones. Just like you fucking deserve. There we go. That'll be enough. Once we get the fire, they're gonna get these hands. Walter disappeared, leaving a treasure chest. Good job. Now he's gonna run away from his friend while his friend burns to death. Wow, what honor! I'm not worried about those treasure chests. All the stuff we have, or all the stuff that we would pick up from here, are gonna be slightly better items that we can grind later. rush you in to do anything? No, I can't. But, you can still get some points. 19 job points. And I can get you with a potion, so when that guy finally gets his turn, he's not going to be able to run up and hit you. Though, he might never get a turn with um, Smug Wendy and Arby's right there. This might be it for him. I think Smug Wendy is next. Yep. And he is dead. We have completed the game. Yeah. We killed all the poor people. That's what we came here to do. I don't know. These sand rats are long in the slang. It is well no others have found us while we tarried here. We did it. get here from winning 2200 gill 500 gill high potion blind knife that's nice it's it's a knife that blinds people fucking great I'm glad I'm glad I described what the name described I did it I'm the best you've taken leave of your senses Gustav have I what hopes do your fool revolution hold dreams do not fill a man's stomach or make soft the packed earth on which he beds you see naught beyond the end of your own nose. The crown strays, Gustav. It must be led back onto the path. And you think you're, and you think yourself the man to do this? More the fool you, Wygraf. Have you spoken your fill? Then we are done. He's gonna die. Damn. Sucks for him. Now it's saying I'm fucking offline. I better not be fucking offline. No, nope, I'm still alive. Just a stupid snafu in the fucking dashboard here. Okay. Flygraph! The Marquis! No further. How dare you threaten me? Stay yourself, Argeth. The Marquis is unharmed. You are free to return him to Egros. Why release him? The Marquis's abduction was ill done. Such craven methods serve not our ends. Let me walk free, and I will release the Marquis to your care. A fair bargain. 
You mock us. You are in no position to bargain. Enough, Argeth. He speaks the truth. Woo! And off he goes. Let him go, Argeth. Why do you stay me? The corpse brigade is finished in any case. There is not to be gained by a quarrel here. The Marquis is well. He is weak, but he would seem unharmed. Plus, you'd probably get your shit pushed in by that guy, dude. We must see him back to Egros. And we did it! Alright, so that is going to be the end of our stream for today. Thanks for coming out for yet another one, you guys. Um, I really appreciate uh, all of you who came out and joined us. Um, I am Jeff, and if you enjoyed what you saw, you should definitely follow the channel. Um... If you liked this and would like to see it again, or other videos like this, uh, we archive our uh, we archive our YouTube or our streaming stuff over on our YouTube channel, which you can find in the link below. Um, also over there, we do let's plays and funny little comedy videos and stuff. Um, so if you like this stuff, you'll probably like that stuff, and you should subscribe over there. Uh, once again, thanks to everybody who came out today. Uh, for more updates on when we're going to have additional streams, you should check out the Twitter, also in the links below. Uh, thank you guys so much once again, and I will see you next time.